gentlemen, we're not supposed to be here. This is a close course. Nixon, you gotta work on your intros, too, man. Everyone, you gotta work on your intros. Why? Everyone is. And uh, we're back. Another podcast. Episode. That's literally, those are literally all your. What do you want me to say? Let's just, just go. We hey, let we'll we'll start start it. Let's do it. Let's do this one. Let's. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. No, want, Evan, nah, please, by all means. Okay, we're already starting, so we're not even gonna just. We're gonna keep that I think in there. The intro's no, done. Now. Apparently, the intros were terrible. That's yeah. So ask welcome anybody. back to Close Course Episode Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Is it twelve? I thought it was thirteen. I don't know. It's twelve. It's thirteen. That's what I thought. It says twelve on the screen. I see twelve on the screen. Come on, Jamie. Evan's dyslexic's coming out. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Wait, are you? I think I'm dyslexic. I think you are. Evan's definitely a little. When it comes to numbers, I'll check. Anyways, episode thirteen, closed course. We've got a special drink, the Pins Pink Flower drink. We're calling it Pins Cock. Pins cocktail. (laughs) What, John? Tell us what's in this. Pins Cock. Is this what you made on the power yeah, hour? Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it it's actually delicious. It's gin, you had a which is, uh, you know, a nice, refreshing, botanical spirit. It smells good, tastes strong. Yeah, that's the point. Mm, and smells, it tastes good, good taste too. Uh, so two ounces uh, gin or vodka, two ounces pineapple juice, uh, one ounce, half ounce of lime or lemon, and a splash of grenadine. I, okay. I like it. I think it tastes Poofy. good. It smells, if this was on ice, it'd be it smells terrific. Like it's supposed to be on ice. Mexico-y? But. It smells good. Uh, were you guys gin drinkers in college? I was a big gin guy. Oh, no, I, I do have a story about gin though. I okay. was like in, uh, I was in, I think I was high school. It was my freshman year of high school, so like just freshly in high school. Went on like a run for some unknown reason. Like I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Just like a, it was like at night. Run. I went on like a run. You uh-huh. stand, you know, fit. We were playing academy. Had to keep your fitness okay. up. Went on a went out went on a run. Like just a super long run at night. Came back home. Walked in the front door. And my parents were, like, Gym. watching TV, uh, just, like, in the living room. And my mom had, like, a glass, like, right there next to, like, on, like, on, like the table or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, ice, uh, ice glass, like, filled to the top. And I'm like, fuck, water, I'm so thirsty. Ran over there, grabbed the glass, just guzzled it. You're a it. scumbag taking uh, someone Just, just guzzled it. And, like, after, I was like, like, I, like, drank the whole thing. I, like, literally thought I was going to throw up. And I was like, Mom, like that is not water. She was like, that was my gin and tonic. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, that is disgusting. I like only almost threw up. Did you have a big sip? I drank, I, it, was a, it was a full glass, probably like this big. So you, and I drank you were like a freshman half, in high school, you drank that. I drank like half of it. Now that would black you out. So did you go to the hospital? <laughs> yeah, they had a, I had to get my stomach pumped. Honestly, did yeah, you? No. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. believable. The thing about gin, though, is you could have like a drinking contest. And Like what is gin? It's like juniper. Yeah, what's juniper? I don't know. But you could have a drinking contest with any liquor, and if like somebody puts a gin shot in front of you, it's like the worst thing. Like, what's gin made of? I don't care who you are. It's juniper berries. What's ju- what's a, what's a juniper fucking berry? It's I don't like, know. It's a. Is it like a blueberry? Berry. I don't it's even a know. Bush. Why? It's a bush. Yeah. Evan, how is it's like a Christmas tree? What is gin? What's it made out of? Juniper berries. I don't know. It, it definitely has that juniper, but like it was mixed well. You could have a little gin and tonic. It's I like it's it. grain. Fine. Yeah, Fire. like all Where's most oh, yeah, spirit juniper, alcohols, yeah. but the predominant flavor of juniper out. berries. Yeah. yeah. What's it? Can you look up what a juniper? What does a juniper berry look like? Juniper berries with water. I have junipers in my front yard. Botanical. Yeah, like berries. those little like tiny, a, little ugly little be- yeah. berries. Like, I'm on like little pine That's a fucking blueberry. Oh, that's not it. What I was thinking. Interesting. Yeah, that's a literally rip off blueberry. Yeah, it's like black. Could I just eat those? I don't know. Probably shit your pants, but you could would I get it. like blacked out or no? <laughs> no. Tune oh, in God. next week. Yeah, this dude's gonna eat a whole thing Probably. of juniper berries. Speaking of <laughs> something that came up in the last podcast, kind of changing gears here. What he got his twenty three and me. I did. Yep. Yeah. I yep. Successfully completed said, it. He sent it in. Yeah. Did yeah. Spit yeah. Test? I was gone, but yeah, Stewie said he got it in the mail. Yeah. Spit in the tube and. Yeah. It, it might be a little. It might be a little fucked up. I don't know, cause well, talk to Lugian. I like this. you have to like spit in it, and then like it's weird because they like have like a, it's like a, there's the tube, mm-hmm. and then there's like a cap on it, but it's like a weird cap. It's like big, so you can like spit in it, you know, it like funnels in, and then the funnel has like a lid on it, so you like, and it's like, air sealed with like some sort of mm-hmm. alcohol to preserve the yeah like saliva. So I did it, capped it, they hope the water fell in, cause that's what you're supposed to do to like so preserve it when you ship it. And then you have to like take the cap off and like transfer it to a different cap. And I was like laying. I was like, he fucked this up. He fucked it up. I was like laying. I was like laying back like this. Cool. Just like fucking around and then like. 
I was, tra- I was transferring the cap, and I dropped it on myself. So just, I like just like spilt it everywhere, <laughs> just like, everything. Jesus. So I had to like try to like re like re get a whole bunch of spit in there. It'll be fine. We'll see. Well, Evan, do you know? Does anybody remember what he said? He I know. Was? We need, yeah, we, I I know what it is. Full blown Mexican. Nick bet me five hundred dollars if I was ten percent Puerto Rican and Italian. Evan, you could you is could put it? It, you could clip it right now. 50, 50. Evan, clip this right now and play it while I'm talking. But literally, you said ten percent, ten percent Puerto Rican and Italian. Okay, so you had to be ten percent of at least ten percent of both. Correct. Five hundred. Win bucks. the five hundred bucks. Them. Correct. Both of them. Both of okay. them. Okay. You know, well, we'll take that. One hundred percent. It's just going to give you a big region. So he's up to two fifty. Yeah, he's up to two fifty. It'll say. It'll say Puerto Rico. Wasted it. We're going to have to order another test. So that's so another two fifty. That was two hundred fifty bucks. No, it was like one twenty five. Fucking joke. <laughs> Well, we were going to do it, and problem. someone emailed in saying, like, I want to know the results, and I was like, fuck, we got to follow up now. <laughs> yeah. And we got to... I am, And I am curious, because Stewie said for the longest time, he's Italian, Puerto Rican. Now we'll know. Mm. We'll know. Mm. All right. I think the Italian's easy. The Puerto Rican's... I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I, I don't know. Me gusta mucho dinero, see? Here we go. Oh, fuck. Huh? Here we go. Yo quiero dinero. <laughs> Más. <laughs> Ma, had to oh, add that part. There it is. Confirmed. Oh, no, there it is. Cancel, the test. Bro, the, test? Grandfather, Cancel the test. Grandfather, grandfather was literally born in Puerto Rico, lived there his whole life, then moved to the States when he had my mom. Just because he was born there. Just because he was born there, lived there his whole life until he was like 30 or 40 and is fluent Spanish. What if I was born in China? Does that make me Chinese? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, okay. No? No. I think so. Really? If you did a DNA 23andMe test, it would say you're 0% Chinese. Are you, are you just like, oh, is born it, there? But yeah. like, was he, are his parents American? Like, what do you mean? My, my yeah. grandfather was also born in Puerto Rico. I don't know. Do Where were his grandparents born? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> See, I don't know. Where they come from? Yeah. I could say I'm literally any nationality. does not matter. He's going to have an identity like, crisis. Nah. I think he's... Mud blood. I think he is. <laughs> You're mud blood. Mud blood. How <laughs> yeah. dare you use that term on me? <laughs> How yeah, dare Harry you? Harry Potter. Again. Well, last week yeah. we did the 420 launch. That went well. Uh, yeah. What would you guys think about that? Yeah. I liked it. It's not yeah. my style. I don't smoke weed. It's not my cup of tea. One of the four of us smokes a lot of weed. He liked the collection a lot. <laughs> he smoked that much weed. <laughs> he's, hey, he's, he's, got, it's, he's got glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's medical. Maybe not a lot. But Do they dab- still have... dabble. I'm retired. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> Do they he's still retired. have doctors like that? Or you could be like, Doc, oh, yeah. I, I got glaucoma. Yeah, for like, sure. Pres- pres- you don't even so. need to do that now. Chronic pains. Not, in Colorado. Uh, not anymore. Athletic injuries, too. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. CBD. For, I, at Lifetime, they got CBD massages. I'm going to rip one of those. Apparently, like, you know, if you grow your own or go, like, organic, like, artisanal, it's just, like, a completely different experience. So artisanal? I would just do that. Yeah, like, everything you get in the dispensaries now are just so cranked with pesticides and, like... Are they really? Oh, yeah. Organic. They just pump Why don't you grow your own flower? That's what I'm going to do. I want to build a garden. That's fucking sick. <laughs> so I can make necklaces and stuff. Wait, what? Oh, God, don't Wait, go down that route, John. He's going to be full hippie in two, what? two years. <laughs> like, with beads and shit? He already has... What do you have in your... Well, your... I just heard, like, you know, if you came over and it was off my plan, it'd be, like, a completely different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you already have... Uh, you shrimps? Like you can do that. I don't. I don't mess with that. Well, you already stuff. have oh. chickens, yeah, so you're gonna college. have chickens, necklaces, and weed here in about a year. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a few months. You did have <laughs> chickens in my basement. You did have some. What'd you have? Hamsters. Bunnies. 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 And they're Kill all them. dead. Yeah, they're dead. Well, one had a heart attack. He's lost twenty percent <laughs> of his chickens. <laughs> already. One had a heart attack. It's not. There's as actually a funny story about the bunnies. I think like six years ago, I didn't know what to buy. Maybe even longer, like eight. I didn't really know. John didn't know what to buy him for Christmas, so I bought him a crossbow. Which is pretty cool. Full circle. It's a, oh, it's a mini geez. crossbow. It is really cool. Don't think he ever used it ever. And one of the bunnies got like oh, a disease, you... was dying. He got bit by the dog. Yeah, he got bit by Did the dog. I, or a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he was, was slowly range. dying. He was a free range bunny. John had the free range. He just roamed like free range eggs. Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah. free roamed his backyard he where coyotes live. Backyard. He was in a, you had him fenced in. He had a thing. He had a he, playpen. He was smart. He stuck out. <laughs> <laughs> And he was dying, and John had to put him out of his misery and shot him with the crossbow. <laughs> did, you like point did, you like, did you like pin him up, like tie his legs up? So you're like, <laughs> like torture chamber. <laughs> you know, speak- well, uh, I wanted to use a bullet, but that would have been too loud. It was like midnight. Fuck like, me like, too. <laughs> execute a bunny <laughs> with a crossbow. Any last words, buddy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good. You know, uh, when I first started dating Ashley, she was telling me the story. She's like, "Yeah, we had a bunny when we were growing up." And craziest, she believed this when she was yeah, twenty-two. I still remember. She's she's like, "Yeah, um, we had a bunny, and it got struck by lightning and died." What? 
And I was like, really? Your bunny got struck by lightning? That's bizarre. Both of them too. <laughs> and I was like, what? Really? She's like, yeah, it's crazy. She's 22 and she believed this whole story. So like <laughs> 10 years later, she's like talking to your parents and she's like, I can't believe our bunny like got struck by lightning and your dad starts laughing and he's like, He's like, no, the bunny fucking died. I told you it got struck by the <laughs> I think the dog, the dog ate it. it. Yeah, the dog ate it and she nice. believed it. Their instincts yeah. take over. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, he probably didn't eat it. He probably just like grabbed its neck and rang it. <laughs> rang it out just like Nick <laughs> on the just golf like, course. <laughs> rang it out. <laughs> well, before we got the drinks flowing, John's drink, got some beers. So before we get too deep into the podcast, we are going to talk a little bit business. Yes. We talked about how 10 episodes are going to be kind of how to start your business, how to grow it, and then eventually exit. But this week, we were going to touch on selling channels for your business. Mm-hmm. So you want to touch Yeah, Liam, I'm going to do a Beer Eagle. Yeah. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm going to get sponsored it, by yeah, Beer, Beer Eagle. Eagle. Yeah. They, already you that. they already sent us that. Yeah, I'm already sponsored. So. Yeah, <laughs> Ben's an yeah you're about as <laughs> sponsored by them as much as I'm sponsored by Red Bull, man. Uh, well. Have you gotten free Red Bull yeah. stuff? Yeah, I got a hat. Well, I've gotten two Beer Eagles. So. <laughs> you got a Red Bull hat? From yeah. who? What, those girls driving around? It's like actually a Cooper? A beanie. From drive, those girls driving around the Mini Coopers in college campuses? Uh, we never had those. We should do that strategy. What? What, college, what college do you think I went to, man? You think we had that shit Didn't at you have the Red Bull? You think we had that yeah, at yeah. DU? Yeah. We went to an educated You think people school? give up about that at University of Denver? These private school kids. Schools. Private schools. When you went to a real school, you had to stay up late and study and do all that stuff. So yeah. the Red yeah. Bull <laughs> truck was around. Yeah, man. Yeah. How did you not have that? Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah. Mini Cooper. Yeah, I know. With like, and it's got like the Red Bull can. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little fridge. It's like <laughs> yeah, a little holder. Like, and you'd go up to them and be like, can I get some Red Bull? And they're like, how many do you want? Yeah. They just give them to you for free. Yeah, I think they stopped doing that in like In between Nick's Mark classes Mark. of how yeah. goats fuck 101 and how to grow corn, <laughs> he was at the Red Bull truck <laughs> up at CSU. <laughs> Those <laughs> yeah, were his two like, classes they got freshman year. Yeah, look how dope that car is, bro. Let's buy one of those. Seriously. Yeah, can we get one? Change a golf bag. That'd be so lit. Surplus Red Bull Mini right there. Someone. Bro, that's like Dude, a little truck. Those are so sick. That's actually so tough. Hey, Evan, I want you to go find one for sale. The transfusion. Google Red Bull Mini Cooper Liam. for sale. We that's need actually one of those so tough. For us. What? What? We're rolling in the. I know. The, the cocktail. Real, this the is real. not. Get off this Google image. Is yes. All right, let's talk about selling channels for a couple minutes here. Selling channels. Yippee. Okay. Yeah. So <sighs> we're at your point. You've sourced your product. You've registered your LLC. You've done everything. You're starting to sell. How do you start to scale it? You know, what where are you where are you gonna sell your product? You know, for us, you know, or, or anybody could be starting on like a swap meet or um I mean it's just a tough scene over there. Uh, you could sell it anywhere. We started online, we use Shopify, a lot of sellers are on Shopify. Um, and that's kind of how we started. Actually, John, probably prior to that, we were on Amazon, mm-hmm. FBA. Mm-hmm. We were selling, didn't have a store. Actually, I got ahead of myself. So we started selling on Amazon. Mm-hmm. You can sell your own brand of product. You can sell other products. Uh, Amazon is still a great marketplace for the right products. John is the Amazon savant, so he can touch on that a little bit. Um, we start there, and then we had Shopify, and then you have, so direct-to-consumer, your website, pinsandaces.com, and then uh, wholesale channels. So brick and mortar, you're selling wholesale to mom and pop so- shops, and then they're selling your product. But John, touch on Amazon. What What's the pros and cons to Amazon? Why is that a good selling channel? I think it's still, if you think about it, it's just the world's biggest mall where true. there's 30-plus million people walking through that mall on a daily basis. It's wild. So... Just as far as eyeballs and getting exposure, it's a great place to test the market or launch a brand because you're getting access to all these customers. You know, and I think as Amazon's evolved, it's a lot more difficult. It takes a little bit of expertise or a pay to play aspect, but it's still a great ground zero strategy. Um, And that kind of leads into another mindset with distribution channels is, you know, it's kind of. Uh, marketing 101, you know, the four P's of marketing, one of them is place. So mm-hmm. do you want an inclusive distribution channel or an exclusive distribution channel? So do you want to be like, you know, Casio or Rolex or runs more, you know, mass? And because it's mass, more supply, you know, your pricing is going to be probably less. But again, you're going to see volume or Rolex where it's, you know, it's only in their stores or jewelry stores. It's very exclusive you can demand higher prices often higher margins but you probably won't see the same volumes so i think um going into when you start your business or your products or your brands start thinking about that too like do i want to be casio or rolex somewhere in between and then how that affects kind of your brand long term 
Is that the easiest one to get on first, you think, Amazon? Is that a good place to start for most people? I wouldn't say it's easier. It's pretty easy to start a Shopify site uh, now uh, and just put up a product. We've done that. We own other brands, too. Riptide is one of them. John's wearing the shirt. Uh, we have other businesses besides Pins and Aces. Um and Riptide is pretty easy to start a website and get onto Amazon. But so to that point, John, I think maybe you'd need to think about pricing and price strategy. What are you going to sell your product at? You got to have enough margin to maintain overhead or to cover overhead, to cover uh, the cost of goods, and then leave room for some profit. And then eventually, obviously, what you're going to do is take that profit, turn it back into investing in the business, buying more inventory. And scaling the business. Yeah, and you're thinking out, you know, there's a lot of different pricing strategies, <laughs> penetration pricing, competitive pricing, cost up pricing. So really it's what kind of matches your vision. You know, if you're hell bent on penetrating a market and becoming a, a you know, establishing a brand presence in your niche or your market, you probably want to price it less or, you know, really appetizing to volume. And then at that point you can kind of you know, add additional SKUs and then maybe raise prices to be more profitable. Um, or, you know, cost up is just, hey, what's my, you know, you kind of work from the floor. You know, if I, it costs me 10 bucks to land this and I want to make $10 profit, I'm going to price it at 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Or you just look at your competitive landscape and say, hey, do I want to be a little bit more than the average or a little bit less? You know, so. And with Amazon, a lot of benefits. I think the benefits are, um, and you can touch on these benefits are someone else is fulfilling the product for you. Uh, FBA, you can send it to an Amazon warehouse and they deliver it. Customer has a great experience because they get it in one day. Um, and then, you know, it's a world's largest mall, 30 million people there a day. Cons are maybe talk about the fees and some of the struggles that, you know, we've run into with, with Amazon. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have like a financial discussion at some point, but you know, you won't see aggregation in the Amazon channel which is where, you know, you cover your fixed costs and then every additional dollar you make more money because of it. Amazon is just, everything's a variable fee. So no matter how much you sell, it's always going to be the same fee because it's on a per order basis. But, um, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think some of the cons with Amazon, like you said, is, is there are, it is a pay to play. It's expensive, but a lot of the expenses that you have on Amazon, you would have been paying for that yourself within, you know, rent of a warehouse, shipping the order to the customer, getting it there in one day. Those are all things that are very difficult and expensive for a business to do. So you might have a little bit smaller margin. You're looking at it and saying, wow, Amazon's taking, what, 30% of if I sell a product for 100 bucks, yeah. taking 30%, maybe 35%. Um, it cost me 35 to make it. So I'm in it for 70 bucks. I'm only making $30. Geez, Amazon's taking a lot. But if you think about the experience the customer is getting, it's beneficial. Well, I think Amazon makes it possible to have, you know, a hundred million dollar business out of your garage because mm -hmm. you can scale and they can scale and, you know, you can have your product sent there. Or, you know, I had a buddy selling drinkware and he lived in a different, city country every three months you know oh, you yeah. could just that run your guy or uh hungry hungry he was in hungry for the mexico yeah. city yeah. and all over but you know it's just that's one of the benefits of amazon but i think you know our vision was always to build a brand not just a product you know and really kind of grow into this business you know what can we do to get on more diverse channels mm -hmm. support uh, a website growth you know, and then kind of flirt with green grass or brick and mortar, which, you know, obviously has kind of had a resurgence, but um, still Amazon's a great place to start. It's everything's native there. You know, your advertising, your fulfillment, you know, it has a little bit of social, has a little bit of web design. It's, not so it's a great thing. place to kind of cut your teeth to and just get skills that you can then pass into other. Yeah. Well, Stu's new to Amazon. Yeah. Why isn't it forgiving? Stu is working with it's Amazon. It's not very now. forgiving. Yeah. Stu. You're in your second beer eagle. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just moving it over here. I'm going to get into it shortly. <laughs> Need Stewie, why is it for you? So Stewie does a, does a lot of things. Uh, he started in operations, but kind of blended that with uh, sales and marketing. He's obviously seen a lot on our social channels. He's working on the Amazon channel with John and another guy, Carson. What are what are your thoughts on it, Stewie? Why do you see it as not unforgiving? Oh, yeah, it's, it's Give super, us no, your it's, in, in, insight. I, yeah, I think I agree with everything Major said. Obviously, it's super <laughs> beneficial, but... Like all the, like the, it's like constantly changing, like every day. Um, all the added fees are definitely 
no bueno and then like uh like and Puerto Rico coming out of him yeah, yeah no bueno. it just flows right into his no English bueno. he, does. he just speaks you know I'm Spanglish he speaks Spanglish yeah. around the building and then uh <laughs> yeah like 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 inventory if you're having like inventory struggles as like any business that's like that's gonna be hell on Amazon just because like if you have a product that's selling and mm. you know you get like those tags like those Amazon tags that you see like best product or like best overall product or you know recommended by Amazon like you get those tags, you're top of the list on searches, but then you're not an inventory and you can't sell that. You lose those tags and you got to like start from the bottom again. Mm. It's so, not sexy work either. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not the most fun work, but Stu's you know, and spreadsheets doing stuff, stuff on the back end and, you know, optimizing product pages and stuff is what you need to do to, to sell your products. But yeah, it's not it's not sexy work, but you got to do it. Do you think if you're growing a brand, eventually you can't just be on Amazon? Like if you're trying to you know grow following behind the brand eventually you got to move to like a website and other channels or do you think you can have a sustainable brand that people really follow solely on amazon it's just your vision you know there's a lot of great you know nine digit brands on amazon alone but yeah you know, is that you're, because you're landlocked the to there yeah is you that because of like the brand though not really amazon's pretty brand agnostic it's like you're not product really, you're focused. just you're just searching for something and yeah. hey i like that or it's got good reviews yeah yeah you know and then again like what's your end goal if it's to build a brand and build a business you know do the stuff that we wanted to do it's like okay this is a great launch pad or this is just a great channel and then we you still have to develop all the other ones to support so you know the whole holistic vision the benefit is amazon and probably have a financial topic on contribution margin it, it helps your contribution margin not your gross margin as you scale um but the benefit is to john's point and it, it you know uh, translates into uh e-commerce on our website and then wholesale is people would be searching for just golf head cover and then they see a pins and aces head cover. They see the reviews. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to buy this. They get it. They like the quality. Uh, and we don't have every product on Amazon. We have a very, very, very select few. We have no apparel on Amazon, mostly accessories, but they come in to buy a head cover. And then they're like, this is a cool brand. I just search golf head cover on Amazon. Then they go to our social mm -hmm. socials, see that we have a big following. Then they go to the website. They may buy something else that's not on Amazon. And it kind of grows organically. Yeah. <clears throat> and then if you have the omni-channel approach that we're taking, is you have Amazon, you have e-commerce, and you have wholesale, they all benefit each other. Because if you have the the e-commerce and the social uh, and the Amazon, then the wholesalers see, okay, there's a big brand, they have a following, they have good quality products, a lot of reviews, people are buying it. I want to bring it into my pro shop. You know, we're 950 pro shops. People want to bring in pins and aces because of that, you know, that omni-channel approach that we've hey we've got this ecosystem of, of yeah. a solid and product mix here just, if you're a product-based business you probably need to be on amazon mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. because of the the traffic eyeballs yeah. you know it's still 30 plus million people a day one third of the whole u.s has a prime account you know it's just like that's just wow. the nature of the beast that's just shopping buyer behavior now so if you're a product-based business or thinking about starting one you should probably just check that box at a minimum. Well, there's people like Derek who don't even like go online. They just search on Amazon. Yeah, they're yeah. looking for phone charger. They're not yeah. going to some phone charger social I mean, media company. If I'm looking for anything product wise, I rarely even use Google. No, yeah, like, I just I'll go just on go on Amazon. <laughs> honestly, yeah, it's crazy. I heard you Gen Zers use TikTok now for search. There's like TikTok shop, but like fuck off with that. Yeah, but even like I have a question. I'm gonna go on TikTok. That's what I do. What? What? You go on TikTok? See? To, you can for questions? Stuff? I mean, not what? like for questions, but if I'm like, oh, the proper way to cut a lime, I just go. You're on, fucking joking. I go on TikTok <laughs> instead of Google. The proper I way to cut a lime. That's that's a you. I did that on any Sunday. Any sort of tutorial to cut, cut a lime? No, I was like bartender's way to cut a lime. You fucking cut it in half and you squeeze it. What do you mean? That's not how a bartender does it. Yeah, you would bartender. know if you search on. Like, you cut off the edges, then you cut it in half, then you cut off like the middle part, like the <laughs> rind, and then you cut it in. See you. I now I know. Joke and joke. No, I'm dead serious. I looked it up on Sunday. If I, if I, I wanted to put one in my beer, and I was like, "Fuck, man! Like, how, what's the proper way to cut it?" That's, looked it up on TikTok. How is that whatever. difficult? You cut the lime. You cut the little you sliver. You put the lime with the coconut, on. and you mix it all up, man. <laughs> well, I mean, was just an example, lime, but I actually did search that. But yeah, I do up. stuff like, oh, how to? I don't know. I don't know. If any sort of, was one that any sort of tutorial head. video. I'm going on YouTube. Any? Yeah, I go on TikTok a lot. Was but now it's TikTok. TikTok is TikTok gonna get banned? Huh? Is TikTok getting banned? No. no. You don't think so? Nah. There's like a whole spiel about it. I don't know. Like They've been saying that for years, ago. though. No, they they said it like last month. No, they I said know, it but they've been two, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oracle was supposed to buy them and all this shit. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. I don't think so. Are we good on selling channels? Anything else you guys want to add? 
Yeah, no, then I would move just to touch on like wholesale because we're in all this green grass. If you got a pro shop, reach out to Pins and Aces. We'd love to get into there, but um, just a little subtle plug. So, <laughs> plug. <laughs> but, th- but then that helps the whole ecosystem because then someone goes on into a whole in into a pro shop never heard of our brand before this yeah. this helps the overall brand and business brand lift is they see a polo hey that's a fun design i'm gonna buy oh wow this great fits great it's comfortable it feels nice what is this brand oh okay i'm gonna go look on instagram or tiktok what yeah, you know, yeah. pins and aces then they see our social they see all our other products because the pro shop's only going to carry 10 SKUs maybe and then they come back to, to the social. So I think you have to have an omni-channel approach. Last thing I would say on selling channels is don't worry about trying to get everywhere at once. Mm. You know, we started with Amazon for like a year, and we were just selling a couple head covers. Okay, there's some traction. We're going to start a website and a social media page, you know, yeah. and Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Then those start to grow. Then you start scaling each one of those through advertising, organic social media, <clears throat> and then... And then after those two were kind of established, then we opened up wholesale. It wasn't for like two or three years after we started the business where we're like, oh, shit, there's a wholesale opportunity. And then that opened up. We have a full wholesale department here at Pins. And it's funny when I talk to those guys, they're like, yeah, you know, I just talked to this pro at this course. And they said they've seen you guys on Instagram. Now they want to place an order, you know, stuff like that. They see you. Yeah. A lot of like the assistant pros, the younger guys, kind of our demographic, see us on social media. Yeah see us um the website and all that stuff we do see the podcast and then they kind of order for their uh accounts based on those reasons yeah i think it's super important like john said you have to be on amazon if you're a product-based business i agree um but you have to have an omni-channel approach i think if you're going to be successful and you want to have a brand product there's certain examples like john said if you just want to sell a trinket or a plastic cup Mm. you know that's very red ocean um uh, that that's a tough uh, or market resell. to be in. Yeah, there's a ton resell. of resellers on Amazon. They there's there's go buy a pallet from Walmart and yeah, it's like drop shipping, arbitrage. Almost. No, they're arbitraging, so they're buying like toothpaste, a pallet of toothpaste, and then they're reselling it on Amazon. Mm. There's different ways to do it. We're not doing it that way. We're talking about brand specific, and you can start your own brand, Stewie's Cup, and it's you know bigger than the regular cup. Mm. Um, so probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> micro size, <laughs> micro size shot glass. You know, <laughs> oh god, here comes his big glass. Big laugh. Here comes his fucking <laughs> twenty-five second long hey, comedy. Hey, I hate this man. God, it's comedy. It's I so funny. It's it. okay. fucking funny. Um, yeah, but you know, you get into uh, yeah, into having a full omni-channel approach with your brand and business. I think that's where you're going to have the most success. And we don't want to uh, negate any specific channel. And, and, and as it grows, like you guys said, TikTok shop, we're getting onto that. We've been on that for a while now. Um, there's other selling channels and platforms that are going to come. And I think you got to be, mm-hmm. you know, an early adopter and, and move on it, but don't do it all at once. Let's focus on one, be successful, then move to the next then move to the next. And, you know, I always say nobody ever wants, actually, I didn't say this. Warren Buffett said it. Nobody <laughs> wants to get rich fast or r- get rich slow. Everyone wants to get rich fast. And just like business, you're not going to have an overnight success. It's a three, five, 10 year plan, maybe your entire life to have a successful business. So there's no, uh, you know, need to just rush into something. Take your time, do it right. Focus yeah. on the, the quality, the pricing, the customers. Trust all those kids on TikTok, bro. Go drop ship, make 10K a month. That, all yeah. that shit is legit, so fit. Don't sign up for those classes. <laughs> Don't do that. It's bro, a waste of money and time. In, I'm 15 in middle school. I'm making 15K a month drop shipping. <laughs> have you ever seen those guys? Where like, like, I, up, it's funny. Bro. You click through it, and you're like, click this link, and then it's like, hey, you have 15 minutes to reserve your spot. Yeah. And then you like come back an hour later. It's like... 13 minutes left to reserve your spot. <laughs> you got to scroll like all these things to read. Bro, they don't give you anything. And then it's joke. such a joke. Don't do that. They're all scam artists. None of them have had success with business. Don't believe them. All right. Well, it's fair enough. So. Yeah, honestly. Uh, well, I think that's it for selling channels. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's get into UConn because me and Nick had future bets on UConn. <laughs> Before nice. the tournament started, we bet on UConn to win, and they just absolutely dick-stomped everybody. They did. They didn't have a tough match. I did take last night. I had a futures bet. I bet all the underdogs. Bro, their, so point, their point differential was dumb. They're stupid good. So they just had Zach Eady and then uh, – what was it? That's Purdue. Oh, again? I know. Let me – Purdue had Zach Eady and then who was Klingon. the – Klingon. 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 I like calling him Klingon because that's like Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those two guys, they balance each other out. You take those two guys out of it, call them even. And Edie had more than half that pretty good. He had like 40. I think he had 40. Yeah, like 37 points or something to their 50, something dumb. 
Uh, you take those two guys out because they're evenly matched, even though Edie had an amazing game. The rest of UConn is just so stacked. Oh, and man. when you look at uh, NCAA uh, teams to win, look at their point guard and look at their head coach. UConn has the best point guard and the best head coach. Is that, is you, is that number teams. four on UConn? Yeah. I think it's their six. Uh, oh, is that, it's, I don't know. Spencer, that white guy. I, I don't know the black kid who was draining threes all night. Oh, yeah, that he's really good. good. Yeah, uh, he's correct. I can't remember his name, but they have that good white point guard yeah. too. Yeah, he's that guy's good. good. But um, you look at them. But anyways, so I had UConn at the beginning of the tournament, and then I had uh, all the underdogs though. So yeah. I bet, and last night I bet Purdue plus seven. I thought that was a big spread. I thought it would actually be a closer game. But UConn just blew everyone out every tournament. They won by 15 last night, so I lost that bet. But betting 20 bucks on every underdog, NC State came through for me. I ended up winning $422. Oh, no, really? No, no, the whole tournament. Uh, just how much betting did you money bet? line. Or, how much did you bet? Second, second every... round was a bloodbath. Though. Yeah, second round there was one <laughs> one winner. But NC State picked up. Um, but if you bet the underdog in every, I want to do it game, next year for twenty sure. bucks. I want to do it next what year. Five hundred bucks. Every game. I might, every, put my, every I might game, increase every my round. units. Mm-hmm. Every team, every round, underdog money line. So you, you there, there's going to be mm-hmm. some rounds where you win, you you don't hit anything. But like when Yale beat Auburn, that was like twenty to win. Uh, it was like plus eleven hundred or something. So it was two seventy to win mm. or whatever it was. Yeah. So like you're not going to win every game. You're only going to win like three bets, four bets, you know, in the first round or every underdog. round. Yeah. But you're, the, those underdogs, when you win 20 to covers. win 240, covers your yeah. loss. Did you have some games where you're like, oh, I don't even want to bet the underdog. I know they're going to lose. You have to stay, Do you think you have to stay committed to the process? Okay, so fair point. I not did not, 16 to one. I did not bet on any of the 16 and ones. Or yeah. you could do, fuck, what's it called? Where like you bet on both outcomes or you bet on every outcome. Hedge it a little bit. It's, no. No, arbitrage. Yeah. Arbitrage betting? No, I didn't do that. Oh, uh, I know, I've been, but work. then if you don't bet on one of the 16s, then they hit. You're like, well, fuck, that would have covered half my money. Like last year, tournament. that happened. Purdue lost. Yeah, Purdue 16. lost. I know. I didn't take a 16 uh, this year. It's only happened so. twice. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, when, when was the last time two one seeds were in the final? It's got to be recent. Is I it like? Is it recent? Decent amount. In the last five years, I would put my life on it. Really? Number one seeds in the final. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. He's, you know, he doesn't Look that up, Evan. He doesn't think so. I just put my life on it, so. <laughs> You're fucking dead, buddy. Oh, In the last you five found a Mini Cooper. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the gold. Mini Cooper pickup, bro. It's actually sick. Ooh. Ooh. We need that with, like, a golf bag. It'd be so lit. Last time, there was two number one seeds but in like the NCAA plus, championship. But, like, a plus 140 point difference? Oh, no. Did you see they had the biggest point difference in ever history. in a tournament? They were like plus one forty across all Bro, the, games and you were throughout saying, the tournament. Oh, they UConn were plus one hundred and forty. They scored points. over one hundred and forty points more. Yeah, than their opponents. Yeah. No, this is about Purdue, or you. What is, the Boilers or Purdue, right? Yeah. This will mark the fourth instance of number one seeds meeting in the title since two thousand fifteen. The last matchup came in twenty one when number one knocked off so number one Gonzaga. I fucking told you. What do you mean? You said I said last five years. You're talking about twenty ones in the last five years. To one. Oh yeah. No, I was. That's only happened once. No, Stewie was asking when Virginia won the last time two one number seeds. one seeds played in the final. But you were telling me last night, like what, like the NCAA was like low key fucking like trying to fuck. Yeah. Did you guys UConn see that over? stuff about UConn? Did you see their travel they had out to the tournament? So they were trying to fuck UConn. Yeah. Yeah. And like the coach was tweeting about it, the UConn athletic director was literally tweeting about it. So um, I think, Xing about it, actually. <laughs> yeah, Xing about it. So I think their first game was what on Saturday night, and UConn flew out. Um, I think it was Wednesday, and they had a 7 p.m. flight. It got delayed, got delayed, got delayed. UConn didn't get in to Arizona until like three in the morning, which you could be like, all right, well, the final four for the final to, four. for the final four, and you could be like, well, you know, that's not the NCAA's fault. No, it's not. But. Then you then you say, well, when did the other teams get there? Did they all fly out Wednesday night? No, the other teams arrived Monday. Why didn't UConn leave early? NCAA like, uh, NCAA controls all flight. travel for this the NCAA oh, tournament. Yes, bro. Like for our, they like, booked yeah. them a flight on Wednesday. Can this be Liam's conspiracy of the week. This could be this my could conspiracy. Be a conspiracy. So they put they booked UConn's travel two days later than the other three teams. Then DJ Burns is posting his hotel room saying, like corner suite. I'm hooked up at the Final Four. He's got a king bed, massive room right in the corner. Ooh. Then UConn players start posting their accommodations. They have, like, uh, queen-size beds, two people per room. It's like room. your typical shitty hotel Just room. like shitty hotel, oh, tiny better. beds, like smaller no than a queen. Why would that be better? 
No distractions. Mm. These no. guys have a whole room suite with a king bed to now, themselves. I'm with jo- so whenever I get upgraded, like if I'm traveling for business and I, I'm like, jumping like, on the bed. I give yeah. you an upgrade. I'm like, I don't want the upgrade. I don't want the bigger room. I lose shit. I got more room yeah. spread out. Yeah, but no, it's but like, different. But that I get it. I get yeah. it. But you wouldn't rather say, oh, I'd rather room with John. You'd yeah, rather yeah. say, I want my own room. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they're kind of like cornered in a room together. Uh, Last year, there was weird shit happening. And supposedly, I didn't look this up, so don't quote me here. But the NCAA, <laughs> like, commissioner or whoever's in charge, went to one of UConn's rival schools. And in the bracket, UConn, number one seed overall, they had, like, two or three other conference champs in their bracket. That's never happened before. Usually the number one seed overall mm-hmm. gets an easier run to the bracket. They had multiple conference champions in their side of the bracket. So People were saying about that, Jason, you guys know Jason Whitlock? The commissioner is a fucking idiot. You know Jason Whitlock? <laughs> yeah. He's no. like a sports commentator, this like, uh, black guy. He was saying how the NCAA tried to fuck the Iowa women's team, Caitlin Clark. Fuck Iowa. And they did the same thing to her. And to Iowa. Really? Yeah, they didn't want her getting... Well, that was kind of the next... What did you guys think of the whole Caitlin Clark thing? Let's see where this guy went to school. Charlie. Charlie Baker. president. Fuck this guy. He went to Harvard? Is that a UConn? They're both up in New York, Yeah, they're both Harvard's Connecticut. Boston Coast, but they're not... That's Ivy League and... (laughs) Boston, Massachusetts. Not Connecticut. Yeah, they're up on the East Coast, though. Harvard, Boston? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so... There's a a conspiracy there, 100%. Yeah. It is fucked, though. Well... What about Caitlin Clark? Did you guys like that whole hype train? Dislike it? Because I know I don't like it. Stewie's against it. Nick's for it. I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't know where John stands on this. Uh, I don't. I don't watch. So, so we'll talk about it. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm for it because I, I think happened? it's good for women's sports. What happened? Caitlin Clark is a women's basketball player from <laughs> Iowa. Do you know who she is? Yes, she has. A, she's yeah. I've seen her in a commercial. She has a what? I've seen her. I've seen her in a commercial. She's a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, does she? Blank that looks like a fucking Maybe. relax. Um, what'd she do? What, what so, happened? so, so she's just like the best women. She broke the all-time scoring record, beat Pistol Pete Maravich's scoring record, all men's and women's Division One scoring record of the year. She's a great player. Um, you know, she's gonna slip into irre- irrelevancy when she goes to the NBA, WNBA. Sure. But she had a great college career. Um, she's she's great. I actually, I'm not gonna lie. I watched the last two games. I watched the final four, and I watched the championship, and I bet on both games. I think it's great for women's sports. And I want to emphasize women's sports. This is good for women's sports. Everyone's trying to say like Bro, she can play in the women's, NBA. Women's college shit. basketball is bigger than the WNBA for sure. Like not, not even, even. It's not even close. Bro, the final four. Now people like say one, like the final million. four women's tickets was like seven hundred dollars a seat, and the men's was like four hundred. But you got to keep in mind the men are playing in a football stadium. Yeah, you with need binoculars. Twice the many people. Yeah. yeah, bro. So, but still, I mean, like seven hundred bucks for a women's final four is great for women's basketball. But let's keep women in women's sports. And it pissed me off. The South Carolina coach after she won, she was like, "Yeah, if you know, if you're a dude and you want to be a chick and you want to play basketball, play." She That's said that. Fun. Oh yeah, I'd go put up <laughs> twenty. Fine. Fuck. Yeah, honestly. Are you joking? I, I could. Yeah, honestly. I'd be the. I'd be the most lockdown defender. That, 100%, 100%, that, don't even that it's ever seen. I'd yeah. fall out. Yeah. <laughs> Can you yeah, imagine if you put John on a woman's court? Bro, no, the, against Angel really? Reese. Yeah, <laughs> they're like about the same height. She's only six three. John yeah. six two. Yeah. He'd smoke about the body beef, her up. The beef on John's <laughs> side yeah. in that Throw equation. Bro. Yeah. She shoots the ball 40 times a game. Well, Caitlin that's does. the one yes, thing I, I would know, that's does. the one thing I would say. She shoots the ball a lot. She's obviously a really good shooter. I, I think it's good for women's sports. I actually kind of like her. I just don't like when people start to make the crossover as oh, she could play in the NBA. I hate that close. shit. She could make hate you know it. a difference in the just even ex- in the big three league. Yeah, like just did you see why can't they just be good? For women's girls, basketball. yeah, like, like she's a good women's, women's basketball. She's amazing. Women's basketball player. Player. Be like, bro, she could she could d up Anthony Davis. No, yeah, right. Like, don't do that. I think the best video of all time about women's sports. Maybe Evan, can you pull it up? Like, uh, it's when the UConn coach, you know, the really famous women's UConn coach, is talking about Brittany Griner versus Boogie Cousins. Just look up that, like. Uh, was it the UConn women's coach? Yeah, he was Tennessee's. No, he was at. Oh, it was Gino Ari Ari. Yeah, he was at the. And she and he's at the end of the video talking about it, and they're like. Who do you think would win, Brittany Griner or Boogie Cousins? Boogie, Boogie, Boogie. Demarcus Cousins. <laughs> Fuck Evan. You just got it. This is the. F- uh, yeah, it's no. Uh, this one throwback, the TikTok. Calling out Demarcus Cousins. They're asking if because Brittany but Griner. This isn't Gino saying. No, at the end though, he comments on it. It's if Brittany. In this video though. Yes, it's if Brittany Griner would beat Demarcus Cousins in one on one. Start it over. So it's on YouTube. And they're asking people about it. To, the volume Evan, on, hit the volume, the volume on the, the volume. screen. <laughs> hey. 
I'm glad she's that confident in her ability. But um, she's also a little delusional. I'd like the confidence, BG, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's not a walk in the park over here. What did <laughs> Brittany? She says you know better than the third best post player on the men's team. Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna use that to fuel fuel this. I mean, I'm better. That's her but, voice. Um, hey, she I know that, that kind of gives at him, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, oh, yeah. it's okay it's little man. It's okay, little man. Like she called the Marcus Cousins little man. I pay for our ticket. Front row though. I gotta be front row. How money's on BG? That's crazy. I got cuss on that one. <laughs> if there's no referee, I'm going to go to the ATM, and I'm going to sell my house, and I'm going to put all my money on DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the woman's, like, you know, Olympic coach, and he's like, I'll put all my money so, on like, DeMarcus why gotta, Cousins. Like, why do you got to do that? You know, Just gonna, say she's a great women's basketball player. You know you're going to catch heat for it, bro. Like, what we were just talking about, uh, like, the one guy, whatever his name was, who was like, uh, give me a high school... Can we pick, I'll pick any high school boys team. Oh, yeah. He yeah, tweeted Travis. that. Yeah, he tweeted yeah, that. Yeah, and like, Travis. You give a million dollars like that, that girl from the Las Vegas team was like, dumbass. So and it's like, really? Speaking really? of basketball, <laughs> have you guys seen the Redeem Team documentary on Netflix? Yeah. I don't think I have. Yes. Oh, it's so good, right? When they're like, Kobe Bryant running through his fucking chest first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have seen Hawks the clips. Yeah. yeah, but watch. The, dude, it's, it's actually crazy. It's a great documentary. So yeah. when they lost in 2004 in the Olympics, the U.S. lost um, against Argentina. Yeah. And they should have won, or actually took third. So, but anyways, then they come back and they have this redeem team, and they're putting everybody together. And the next Olympics is in 08. and it's and it's all the boys, and it's like really? it's LeBron, LeBron Kobe, Wade, CP3, D Wade, yeah. So they lose in 06, but then they call Kobe in, and Kobe was going through like all the shit. He wanted to be traded. He had like his fair. He was that was, was that before or after player. he was number eight. Huh? Was that before? Was that I when he was, was on a raid or after? After. Was he 24? He then? like switched to make a change or so whatever. After he was a rapist. Whatever, yes. <laughs> Alleged. So, um, no, settled. No. He wasn't. <laughs> she, she, he didn't do that. But he did cheat on his wife. But anyways, so they bring in Kobe. The craziest thing was is like Kobe's work ethic in sports. Yeah. So these guys were in Vegas training. And they had like LeBron, Carmelo, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh and all these guys. And they're in Vegas training for like basketball FIBA championship yeah. or whatever. And these guys are like, hey, we're done with practice. We're going to go to the club. Like, we're going to have a good time. And they're like, like, Melo's like, we're at Trist nightclub, like, getting lit. Like, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> so it's hell fun. Walking around, bro. Carmelo, they're like all getting drunk at the club. Yeah. They're walking back to the hotel and practice is at like noon or whatever. And so they're like, we're going to go back 4.30 in the morning. We're going to sleep. We'll meet you. At, we'll see you at practice. They're coming into the hotel and Kobe's in his workout shit at 4.30 in the morning. He's like, I'm going to the gym. They're like, what do, you, what do you mean you're going to the gym? They, they all, everyone went clubbing except Kobe. He went and he was working out seven hours before practice even started. And he's like, that set the tone for them to win in 2008. Because then, like, the next day, LeBron and D. Wade were like, oh, fuck, we gotta, we're going to go work out with Kobe at 5 in the morning. Yeah. And then by the end of the week, all the players, no more clubbing. They were all working out. Really? So crap. But, like, bro. that's just Kobe. Like, yeah. you hear the stories of him. Staying late, yeah, yeah, working out longer than anybody. Bro, it's a great documentary. If Kobe had the same championships as Michael, he'd be the greatest of all time. He'd be that. That that would be Maybe. his debate. That's a big if, though. I know, but like he, it just it's still it, shocking. Everyone that he bases died. it off fucking championships. I know it's crazy, bro. Nuts. I can't believe he died. I know. I remember where we were that exact moment at the table at the house. Danny, <laughs> Danny, yeah. were you in Texas with me for the PGA memes thing? We were down in <laughs> Texas. Maybe. When I had my albatross, it was that day. Yeah, I was there. Well, make it about you, man. Kobe's dad in there. Nick, yeah. <laughs> Nick got the practice round. I was probably like yeah. sitting in the hotel. Yeah. Bro, a, heli <laughs> a, a helicopter, bro? We we saw that. And we're like, no fucking way. Yeah. We're like, is it April Fool's? Honestly. And they were like, fuck, he died on the yeah. helicopter. Crazy. It's meant up, man. Right. Foggy, up, yeah. foggy on the mountain. So, speaking of sports, we've got some, uh, we're confirmed our Olympic challenge yeah all right so we talked about it a little series. bit yeah we talked about it last podcast we want to do a little pins and aces olympics because we've had a lot of discussion here who's the best athlete who's good at other sports blah 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 a lot of it's nick and stewie going back and forth but we have decided on some olympic sports so these are these are the olympic there's no back sports. and forth on who's the better athlete can we be honest yeah mm, i no. think i'm gonna put up a great fight uh, i'm good at weird no, no, uh, between you, I mean... I would say Nick's you've got fast-switch muscles, um, which I lack. Um, but, you know, uh, hand-eye coordination, 
Um, you think you you think you'd be better? Yeah, <laughs> resiliency, <laughs> grit. Yeah, grit. 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 How about our ping pong match yesterday? That's an Olympic sport. Bro, I literally, I was, I was. Stevie said you were shit. You what were happened? Dog shit. Did I beat you? Yeah, you. Okay. I gave oh. you points, man. I was down like ten to one, and I came back. It was twenty one twenty. I was going with you, man. I'm yeah. playing with my food. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the Olympic sports we're rolling with: one hundred meter hurdles, high jump, swimming. Ping pong, <laughs> basketball, diving, and golf. Basketball is like three. Po- what? Three you point contest. Golf in there. We're, we're, Nick, okay, so Nick, refu- edited, bro. Nick refu- edited. This is like the pins and aces Olympics. So basketball is a three point contest. <laughs> golf, we might do like fastest to the hole. So it's like, like how f- fastest to finish a hole. Fastest to finish so a hole. Something like that. Advantageous to you. you yeah, drive. It's you not. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if I. F- Shoot it if I can. No still. score doesn't matter. No, because you can sprint uh, to the ball. You're, you might you might hit it in the, the trees hole. three times, but if you're quicker uh, than Nick, doesn't matter. No, well, Kenny evens well, out you make a little. Ten bit. and I make a four, but you beat me. You beat your ball in the hole before me. We time it. Mm. You win. Doesn't matter because the shots take time, right? So yeah. you got to take time. Yeah, you're fucked on that for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's how we're gonna even it out. But it's gonna be a pretty good Olympic event here. It's, it's gonna be a modified pins Olympics, but we're gonna put the debate to rest once yeah, we and like for all. really want to like hundred meter hurdles. I win. For sure. Swimming, I win. No. Eh. I don't think you win swimming. <laughs> you, think, you think you're a fast swimmer? Yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> Ping like pong. jump rope, man. Ping pong, I dominate. I'm a better jump roper than you. No, you're not. Yes, I so am. Go do 20 double unders. unders right now. What? Go do 20 I don't double unders. if I can flip the rope under my ankles yeah, twice. I, I, I can jump that's, rope longer than you and better that's than like, you. That's, that's like LeBron Michael. Who's more championships? That's how you measure Good success. Double who can do who can do who can double do unders? Double unders. Eh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, man. Shut that's your that's the out. standard. Yeah, shoot. Nice your if trap. there was an actual physical sport. <laughs> <laughs> John's sitting <laughs> in the corner. So what is the hundred meter hurdles? High jump. High jump, I win. Swimming. Swimming, I win. Ping pong, I dominate. Ping pong, I, I don't know if I'm basketball, I get beat me. Basketball, I get first or second. Diving, I diving I win. Probably get first or second. Golf, I get first. Joking. That's how I'm thinking about this sport. But I think 100 meter even, hurdles. I think I run, get pal. first or second. You, you don't even, have a hip. You literally can't Fine. even fucking run. <laughs> I don't need it. You don't need it to to, to run the fastest on the golf course. Stewie's, and, and when, I know, I but my golf he, skills you don't over. I don't even really. think he gets second in the 100 meter hurdles. I think Stewie kills everybody. I'm a close second. I don't think you can, bro. You, you can't even jump. jump. I think major. I think. I think the last. hurdles is us three up for absolute <laughs> fucking grabs. <That> fucking suck. <laughs> I, I don't know. Them, I want them set to the highest. They will be no. The they highest, need to be 100%. adjusted to height. Fuck no. They need to be the highest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. They need to be adjusted to <laughs> height and, and hip jump, surgery. No. Every every hip surgery you have it lowers six inches. Okay, then I had I got two hip surgeries. So well, in the last that. eighteen you're, months, you lowered a foot. <laughs> in the last eighteen That's, months. Oh, uh, yeah, about knee yeah, surgery. That's how. Nah, fuck knee. What about circumcisions? Um, I would not be proud of that. Ping pong, I dominate. I absolutely no. pushed Stewie's dick into the dirt. When? And pickleball last week. <laughs> um, absolutely embarrassed. How did we go from pickleball to ping pong? It's the same thing. Nope. It's actually even better because you're he's quicker, <laughs> so he should have the the advantage in pickleball. And it's actually crazy because he's, he's, he, he knows it. He's just not saying it. I gave him so many fucking points. It's not, yeah. I literally gave him not, like I gave you 80% pong. of your points. It okay. doesn't mean you're better than me. No, it just means I fucked up. But by giving me points, he's saying I put him in a tough spot. You didn't put me in a tough couldn't, spot. You couldn't didn't. But make you the didn't. shot. But you didn't put me in a tough spot. I did. No, you didn't. I would do a drop shot <laughs> over no, the net, fucking... hit a top spin right at your Never chest, and then you happened. hit it into the net, and you're like, "Oh, I gave you that." No, point. it's literally I gave you, you hit that something point. soft, and then I would like hit it high, and they would hit the net. It's not. It's not like you. No mistake. No mistake. How did? How are you better than him? Mistake. I. I. I lost. He didn't win. There's a difference. I lost the game. 11 1, 11, one, 11 2. It's, fuck, it's way different. 11 lost, 1, 11 2. Win. That's all I'll say. Serious? N- fuck no. Are it you was. high? It was. 11 1, 11 2. That's what both. We, number one, we played three games. Well, so the third game was 9 4. Short term fucking memory. The third game was 9 4, and we got cut because our court time. It we played done. to 21. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are fucking you, did not. <laughs> You think we played the 21? We 100% played the 21. Last Wednesday, I, yes, you think we, we played the 21? We played two games to 21 in the third What were the scores then? What, I don't remember the fucking exactly. scores. Do you remember the scores? We pl- I do. It was 11-1, 11-2. The third game was 9-4, and then it was 6-30. Our court, our court time ended, so we got kicked crack. out. Crack. You're on fucking crack, buddy. Honestly. <laughs> Would you fucking smoke film before that, the podcast? Right? Film that. Would you smoke before the? Let's fucking add pickleball. Let's make it. A, let's put pickleball in. You guys don't want to add pickleball. Let's put pickleball in. No, please, God, let's put it you in. You guys want to add pickleball? Put it in. Put it in. 
That's an easy one. Fucking scumbag. <laughs> I literally beat you 11 1, 11 2. No, not at all. Faust, dude, that's terrible. No. 11 1, 11 2, 9 4. You didn't score one I lost. point. You didn't win. It sounds I didn't like if you score, lost one 11 I did not one. Score one fucking point, and you know that. You <laughs> did. Tell, you fucking tell the truth. I truly, <laughs> in my heart, you believe you did. Tell the truth. I truly believe in my heart you did. That's Only score one shocking, point. shocking, man. We did not play to 21. That is completely <laughs> false. We played to 11. The third game was 9 4, and then we got kicked off the court due to I forgot you did. though. I forgot point. you got your pathological <laughs> lying skills from Nick. That's my fault. Not true at all. <laughs> no, nah, it's cool. We will see on the... Okay. No, I'll see you in hell, yeah, man. I'll see you in hell. We'll see in the Olympics. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> I mean, we'll see in the Olympics yeah, yeah. because it was John a John and I will be upstairs with Jesus. You guys have fun in hell. It was a clown yeah. show out yeah. there, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it was honestly a clown show. Bro, fuck He's you. saying, oh, I'm giving you points. He's, yell he's yelling at me across the net. I'm giving you points. Like, well, you're smacking it, it out of bounds. It happens all the time. Better teams sometimes don't win. Better players sometimes don't win. It happens all the time. Maybe if it was 11-9, but not 11-1. No, it was not fucking 11-1. <laughs> it was. No, it wasn't. It truly what was, was not. then? It wasn't. I, what was it? I don't remember the score. Uh, like, uh, exactly. Liam, Liam puts, Liam's like, I'll nope. never ever have this achievement again. Someone will remember this score and, and live. No, I was thinking about it because I was like, holy fuck, this is a blowout. 11-1, 11-2, 9-4. That is blowout. It was a blowout. Fucking was not. And you scored seven points total. No. Better player than better his player did not. It was 31. Everyone That's has fine. those off days. That's fine. That's fine. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's in the Olympics. Yeah, thank so God. completely fine. Olympics are starting. Uh, what? When is that? June, July. So we'll probably start filming maybe in like May. Yeah. Get start getting the events in once a week. Maybe yeah. post it like a week before the Olympics. Where are we gonna get hurdles? That's the a real question. Bro, you can go to any high school. Yeah, they, they have, have hurdles out. Yeah, yeah, they'll have they'll have them out there. Really? Yeah, well, what, like those hundred meter hurdles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucked. Is this a head to head <laughs> or is this a, a time? Yeah, it's for racing. There's no. You've seen my legs. I can't I don't high give jump. A shit. I you can't I high care? jump. You can't jump. High jump. New. No, I can't jump. You can high jump. <laughs> No. I can't fucking high jump either. Yeah, you guys no. suck. I might be him just because of my height. Yeah, like, you, I yeah. can touch rim. I think I'm the only one in this room with a confirmed over 32 inch vertical. Oh, guaranteed. So you have I can thick calves and legs. You have man legs. Jump. What do you mean? You told me you. My six year old daughter jump, has. You didn't know what your vertical. Is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because we don't test that fucking. We don't test the important shit at DU. We do like flying tens. Like <laughs> yeah. who cares? Okay, you well. like you do like you like you start run Those sprint two ten are yards. Tough. I think I could. Who's judging the diving? I think we got to get a th some like three yeah, third party judges. Gotta be, yeah, got to be th mm -hmm. three third parties. Three third party judges. Yeah, yeah. If it's only fair. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I already have my. I already have my dive. A good dive, like a good dive is thirty meter, like high ass. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We're, we're going to rolling hills off that diving. Board. Yeah, we're going oh, to like the diving board yeah. of rolling hills. <laughs> the springboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not fucking. I already have jumping a, off one. Of I already have a front flip into a dive planned. I, I can do the last front time flip. I, I can't did. Do I back flip. you're a back. Flip I can kind of rip guy. backies. I bet I'll rip can. a double backflip dive. I can do a back a front flip for sure, but it's all going to be about the splash factor. And you'd be surprised with my pear shaped body that it actually <laughs> is conducive to low splash. You're like an opposite of no, actually. No, yeah, it is. If it's a pear, no, going aren't you conducive? Oh, when you're to going in upside down, and then you're down. a pear. Exactly. <laughs> so gonna, yeah, which means it's bad. No, you have a yes, maybe. What do you mean? <laughs> because I'm breaking, I'm breaking the surface with my hands, and then the pair comes into fruition. No, the pair is it goes big, in. You big. Yeah, yeah but the I'm opening the big. water. I'm opening the water as I. You're enter. not opening <laughs> dick. His I water or opens the tough. portal to his heavy scene. chest yeah. and body. Yeah. And I'm wearing a speedo or leg. Your hands, your, yeah, hands I gotta, will, your hands will break the water. But then John and I are gonna have to get. Yeah, yeah. got a lot of drag, man. Drag. You don't want that for the swimming race. I'm gonna have to shave the beard. Yeah, it's coming in. That's you know. I'm gonna need a beard shirt. Yeah, I can grow. People don't don't people don't believe I'm baby. Bro, I'll go full speedo for this a shit. Swim you got to. Hmm? You got to go full speedos for this. It's only right. No, I can't. I can't. I don't have the 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 uh, equipment necessary. <laughs> I, I've worn them before, but no. Have you worn a speedo before? Yeah, I have. Wow, that's shocking. I think I have a picture somewhere. I would. No, no, it's cool. Should I pull it up? No, you put your. Yeah, it's no, cool. don't no, worry. That's about all right. It. Man. It's all right. Let's see if I can pull it up and airdrop it to Evan. Here. <laughs> well, while Nick looks for the Is speedo mine? picture, okay, sure. we're gonna take a quick bathroom break. We'll be right back. Oh my God, and we're back. No. <laughs> God, you fucked that up. Oh, yeah. Bring his back, Stu. I already said, and we're back. So he, I say, and we're back, and then it cuts to, boom, us, and now we're talking. I think you, you guys get that? After. That's not how it works. But anyway, it's Bye. Masters week, boys, so we got some Masters bets or what? Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, I think I've got an absolute lock. Go ahead, then. What's your lock? All right. Let me pull up my DraftKings. <laughs> so I did a $20 parlay. Just not hitting. Not hitting. The, the wild card is Rory, but I did not bet him to win. Uh, I got Scotty top 10, 
Rory top 10, Cantley top 10, Wyndham Clark top 10. The fact uh, that Scotty top 10 20 minus or no, 10 favorites. to win 541. Wow. Is that a parlay? Yeah. Rory's going to ruin that. Rory's going to choke. He always fucking He does. doesn't win, but I think he gets top 10. I don't 10. think he gets, top, think he gets 10. top 10. Stu, what's Isn't your bet? all mental with him? Um, yeah. yeah. And he's going for the career grade. I'm parlaying uh, Scotty to win outright. Wow. Obviously. You're parlaying that with something. With uh, Xander Schauffele top five. Wow. John? Okay. That's uh, top debutante. Mm-hmm. Wyndham Clark. Which kind of blew my mind. Is he, the, is he the only debutante? Top debutante. Is he the only debutante? This is working. Whatever debutante means. He's, he's, it's his highest. first. He's a debutante. It's his first time playing his in the first Masters. first time at the Masters. Oh, it Debu- is. A oh. debutant. Oh, okay, debut. okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is it? Uh, a debutante is like, it's not what it is. It's like, that's like the debutante ball. Fancy. That was an actual bet you could place? Yeah. So it's like him, Akshay, Eric Cole. Yeah. Oh, he was actually number two on the list. Yeah. Who was first? But, I don't know. Some guy. Some guy. Hmm. Augusta's a draw course. The Heath. Favors the draw, right? No. Favors a fade. Yeah. I thought I thought it favored the fade for a lefty. No. Yeah, I thought so too. No, we talked about it like two weeks ago. I know. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's a fader's course. Fader's sure. course. There's a couple yeah. holes to okay. is a draw. Okay. Most mostly faders are, are winning the Masters. Phil. But it's Tiger, a big lefty. Course. Scotty. But Phil's a lefty. John Rahm. It's a lefty course, course yeah, but, I think. Huh? Yeah, but if Phil. You're fade as a lefty. It's a, fade, it's a, a draw, draw. Which is a draw. Phil draws handed. Okay, so Phil draw. Yeah, he draws it. He he's draws a, the ball. He's a draw guy. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, anyway, yeah. Debutant. Top finish best. debutant. Wyndham Clark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going Xander Schauffele. Tiger to Wait, withdraw. Who won uh, last weekend, the Valero? Uh, that uh, Jaeger. 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 Yes. Remember Scotty? Jaeger. Scotty missed the five foot. That wasn't the Valero. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Akshay won. Akshay, Batia. Yeah. Uh, Batia or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How soft was that? Did you watch it? With He was getting like shoulder tape? Yeah. yeah. Like, bro. That's like, bro, you're golfing. So, bro. I'm going Xander, top 10, plus 130. That's free money. No. no. Absolute free money. I mean, good. I'm That's Xander, top bad. five. He played well. Last, did he play last weekend? No. His last tournament that he played. Top though, 10 was only 130. Plus yeah. one thirty, bro. Scotty's hard to get top. Scotty's the Masters, minus two hundred top ten. There's so many variables that can happen. You can miss the cut. Guys can have bad rounds. Augusta. I don't uh, like it. When the weather's nice, is it a? Can you score there? You or can score, but the different? problem is the greens. It's all about who. And Xander does have good approach shots. This is why Scheffler, I think, is so fucking good. You got to be below the hole. Did you see that thing where they were doing the stint meter and they're rolling it? Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, like roll thirty four feet or thirty five feet downhill. Yeah. And they did the same thing uphill, and it rolled like four feet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just can't be above the hole. You're just not gonna make Bro, putts. So that. who's gonna be below the hole? I love that one par three. That's like. Right after the like the one that dog legs hard left and like a short one, yeah, like everyone like, hits in, in the, the water, water on what that. Is that 14 it's like it's like a hundred and five par three. Yeah, something stupid. Yeah. And, like everyone fucks uh, that hole up. Like it's because down. yeah, they're trying to hit it short of the hole um, because you can't be long. If enough. you're long, you're people the cut it off the green into the water. It's crazy. <laughs> Sounds like a really fun game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I have some fun betting odds because you know Super Bowl always has like these crazy odds, crazy mm-hmm. bets where it's like. Color of the Gatorade, coin oh, toss, yeah, what's yeah, going to yeah. land? How long's the national anthem? Yeah, shit like that. So I made over some minutes. I made over some two. for the it's Masters for us to talk about. Okay. The first one I had was, will Tiger withdraw due to injury yes. or yes. sickness? Uh, injury. It'll be injury. I'm saying yes to that. It's injury, just, yes. What's 100%. the odds? Or is it just, you made them up? These are these just are, questions. These should 100% oh. be odds. They should. I think in, like, European, you can bet on this shit. Probably. But like not here. I hope he doesn't, but I, um, I mean, he I will. Think it's, I, I think, think, it's he'll, I think he'll WD after the second day. I think it's 50-50, depending on how he plays. If he's, like, going to make the cut, he's going to play and say he's fine. If he's, like, playing <laughs> bad, he's going to be like, oh, I'm injured. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. The second one I had, um, will the winner record any bogeys on Sunday? Yes. Yes. You think so? Absolutely. No one's gonna. No one's gonna go bogey free. That's Sunday? possible. No uh, fucking way. I think it's. I'm not a golf historian. That's possible. No way. Unlikely. All right, John. Can I mention this one? Will Zach Johnson accidentally yes. hit the ball off the tee again? <laughs> oh, is that when he like lied? He's done it like four yeah. times. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Like, He's definitely gonna do it. Do you see my it. comment? It still is like so popular. Yeah, it's like, still getting it's not liked. the John Deere buddy. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think I, I don't think like, so. I, I think get he's not lined up to the ball, so it technically doesn't count as a stroke. No. But like, doesn't I, count as like stroke. Just like how? Yeah, he just like he just like goes and picks it back up, puts it on the tee. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. And just, yeah. like, I'm gonna start up. doing that. All right, now I got some over unders for you guys. So I picked the line myself. Okay. So we're gonna see how. Oh, yeah. What you guys think here? How many times will they mention John Rahm's champions dinner throughout the weekend? 
The line was set at one and a half. Is that the like fajitas? Oh, over. Or? What did he have? John Rom. He had like pink pink toes and other top of pink toes. Shit like what? That. Yeah. Pink toes. Pink know. toes. Pinchos. 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 What's a pincho? Pincho. It's like, it like an anchovy. With I thought that was tapas. Green olives. Like the same thing. Oh. He's Spanish. Uh, yeah. No. Over one and a half. Yeah, over. They talk about. The yeah, they always had champions dinner. You think so? Because yeah. it's like four. It's like five courses, so they touch on everything, like always. Yeah. Isn't it? It's four courses, right? Depends. It can be now they've gotten like more intense and like crazy. You know what's crazy at Augusta? You see Julian Edelman talking about this. Ooh. They do not have. If you go to Augusta and you play, like if you're for just to go play in like you know in June or yeah. whatever, um, you go there. They do not have a menu at the at the restaurant. What you, like you just get like they get what you get. You just say, "What do you want, Stewie?" And you're like, "I want a lobster roll and you know baked potato soup." And they're like, "Great, we'll make that for you." Dead ass. There's no menu. <laughs> you just fuck? ask them for anything. You want beef Wellington? They're gonna make this, you beef Wellington. This uh, menu, like, is how much is amazing. it? Amazing. Like, there's no. It's, it's I don't know hard what the cost is, but Spanish. there's no menu. You just order what you want. That's outright. I, like, I want mm. chicken case. It is. They'll make you chicken case. That's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is John Rom's menu. It looks awesome. It looks so, pretty uh, good. Tapas y, tapas y pintos. Huh? Money, man. Y precios. That bass. Patatas bravas. John. Quistora con patata. Easy to make. Huh? Ooh. And the croquette, croquettes. Croquettes. Oh, oh yeah. Idia sarbal. How con good are trufa negra? Potatoes Ooh. bravas and croquettes. So good. Tortilla Spain. de patas. De, de patatas. We should go to Spain and just go for the food. I'm going Bro. next year if, for running of the bulls. Are you? Is there? With who? He's going to get to fucking die. You get the PTO? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> John yeah. approved it. He's making content. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. want to go. I'm going to wear a pins polo. I want to. That's something my dad's always wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, cool. now, Why do the most. Ever since I saw the movie City guys Stickers. want to run with bulls. I don't understand. <laughs> I want to do it. Really? Yeah. Come do it. You ever really? read, and, get, uh, and get speared no, by you bulls. Just you just the side. You can come if you read The Sun Also Rises. What's that? Exactly. Why are you asking me to read books? I don't know about the crab <laughs> salad and potato. So these and are. I don't all, know what turbo is. What is turbo? Creamy chicken fritters. Comp, these actually all look sound delicious. I'm gonna be honest. So it's, it's a like, fish, isn't it? Probably. What's it, what's idiaz Idiaz cheese? Just a regional cheese. Okay. Mm. What's your next one? Classic lentil. All right. My next one was: How many times will they mention Tiger's 2019 Masters run? The line is set at two and a half. Oh, over. Over. Are you smashing that! Every day so? they're talk about that. Over every two and a half time. highlights. Played. Yeah, Ooh, maybe highlights played. Bro, they the will, I think they'll talk about it twice every day. Honestly, really? every time they're showing, yes. they'll talk about it. So yeah, I think so. the ratings for sure on 100%. day one. And any time he's in it, they're gonna say like, "Oh, Tiger." I they know, but like, if it's the same it's guys talking. Last hole. Huh? Guarantees. But it's the same guys talking all day, so they're probably gonna remember what they said, and they're like, oh, I yeah, but they'll say still it bring it up. Maybe it's Tiger. They'll just suck. It's fucking Tiger. Yeah. Everyone sucks out Tiger. It's Tiger. All right, how I'd many times will live players versus PGA Tour players be uh, mentioned throughout the tournament? I set the line at 20. Oh. Oh, fuck. That's high. I don't think, I think it's be that high. I think under. Yeah. It's a high line. I think they'll say it like the first day. They'll be like, say it a few times. But then. But I, think about the final day. If it's like John Rahm and Scotty Scheffler, how many times are they going to be like, oh, we got yeah. a PGA player and a live player? That's they one. Won't. They won't. Oh, it's coming down the final stretch. We got live. That's two. They're not going to say like live PGA. They won't do that. I, don't I think they will say it. I think it the first day. A lot. The first day they'll say it, but not like 20 times. No, I think final round, if there was like live guys in it, I'm, target, I'm oh, taking oh, the over. Do people still care a lot? Bro, no I one watches, people are tired no one even it. watches live anymore. Like, is he like, like they got like 500k viewers like the last tournament? They yeah, no I'm taking cares. the over on that. I think it's over. No, they're gonna milk the fuck. Count it up. I don't think so. Count it. I'm exactly 20. <laughs> wow. All right. How many times will they mention Wyndham Clark finishing second to Scotty Scheffler two weeks in a row? I said it at two and a half. Oh, I think over that, especially if they're in contention. But what if they're oh, not? Be because tough. there's no reason to talk about then it. Then no. I think over. <laughs> I think yes, both, but no. Both will play good enough that it will be a top. You think it'll be an over? Uh, yeah. I don't think it'll be over. I think they'll mention it once. Really? Yeah. You taking the under? Yeah. I'm taking the under too. I don't think they're going to talk about it that much. Nice fucking tough. Nice one, man. I think it was good. We had split split decision. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, I don't the think odds so. for over better be really high. Like just a line. The line minus one ten. <laughs> they're both just minus one ten. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sports book, man. That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, John. I heard you got a good conspiracy for us this week. Ooh. Let's put on the hats and see what happens here. Uh-oh. And conspiracies. We're back with John's Ooh. Conspiracy of the Week. For people who are listening, we're now wearing tinfoil hats. The lights are cut, and it's time for John's. I've been put like a fun conspiracy, conspiracy of the week. First problem. 
I'm like bum, the bum, only bum. Uh, introvert in the whole building, and they're making me monologue for more than ten seconds. This is bullshit. Hey, um, that's not. I'm not mono. We're not monologuing. Yet. Well, I have to talk about something for ten seconds, and then the CTE kicks in. Okay, I'll take over. Uh, <laughs> Let's touch on a little bit of kind of flat Earth stuff. You know, Ooh, this is just, you know, here's that's a good a classic. One. There's just so yeah. many. Do you believe the Earth is flat? Ways. Yes. You know, I'm just pre- preventing or presenting the theories here, yeah. and let the viewers decide. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think you could have a conversation either way. Question everything. That's the whole thing. There are f- facts on both sides. One like, of the big arguments. There's arguments for both sides. Is oh, you're on the beach and then you watch a ship sail away. Yeah. No, oh, it goes, it disappears. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just pop in your super high zoom camera, zoom right in, and the boat's still there, perfectly level with, with no. the sea. Hundred percent. Really? Oh yeah. Yep. Or if you stand on the opposite side of Lake Michigan and look towards Chicago, zoom in, five hundred x or whatever, you can see all of Chicago. Can you really? Yeah, and at that distance, it should be like... You're saying it should be curved, like you can't be... Yeah, it should be like eight miles below sea level or something. Really? So, you know, it's kind of weird stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 funky. That's funky. You convince me. Or like, okay, (laughs) have you ever been on a plane and looked out the window and seen a curve earth? No. (laughs) Have you? No. 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 (laughs) Exactly. Or every picture from high altitude balloons or whatever is just in a fishbowl lens yeah fuck yeah bro well i knew that yeah, yeah. or like uh, yeah. have you looked at the 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 blue dot blue marble picture from the 60s when they went to the moon versus now it's like a completely different picture is it yeah because there's a guy on nasa staff who's just a cgi expert bro yeah like i hate i hate the when it's like astronauts are in space and they're like oh, they, yeah, literally they like they like they, where they do like the astronauts in space and like they'll take a photo of like the earth and they'll be like you still think the earth's flat there's a lot of mistakes, mm. like bloopers. So what these they do is they take like they're supposedly take collections of photos bro. and then they like collate yeah, them yeah, together yeah. and make them so they're they're simulated pictures. But there's a lot of like bloopers of astronauts on the space station like hanging out and all of a sudden you'll see like a a, cord. a wire yeah or like they're wearing Santa hats and all the Santa hats are down when really they should be floating you know. So just goofy stuff. Bro, there's been moments where like they like they'll like tour like a NASA facility, and like there's like a there's like a famous picture of it where like they're in a NASA facility, and, yeah, and on the see screen, those grids. on the screen, like in the background, is like them fucking around on like a set, like all dressed up as astronauts and like yeah. shit, and it's like a, it's like a, like the picture got leaked. It's out there, oh, like they're just like making shit in a studio. It's, it's there, buddy. 100%. It's 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 there. Like it's there. Tell me if anyone has circumnavigated. Antarctica. No, the well, the Antarctica thing is weird to me, and I think that's more like no one's gone to Antarctica. No one can go there. It's if you like get even thing. within like parallel, whatever, yeah. you get swarmed by Coast Guard. Yeah. Well, and who was the pilot? Evan, Google this. Who was the pilot who like went into like flew into Antarctica? It was like fifty years ago, and he got sucked into like a. How come no hole? flight paths yeah. are over Antarctica? Yeah. Is too this cold. Still, is this still, That's weird. Is this still, I agree. Is this still I, the Antarctica Earth stuff is weird. Yeah, because they're only going over North Pole because North Pole is the center in the flat Earth theory. In the yeah. Flat Earth yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and got yeah, Richard Bird. <laughs> yeah. Richard Bird. That's that's him. But that's what they'll Just say. Just search like is... Richard Bird, Antarctica. He like flew there and he said he saw weird shit. Wait, wait, wait. Like I was going to touch on this. This is Operation <laughs> okay. High Jump. Operation yes. High Jump. Yes. So Operation, guess what happened to this guy? He got like suicided or missed yeah. to death. Yeah. So Operation High Jump was in like 1946. Search that, Evan. And it was this big Navy, naval expedition, of like tens, uh, almost hundreds of ships, you know, vessels. And their whole point was to get to the ice wall and get over the ice wall, which yes. was Antarctica. Mm-hmm. Yes. And this guy, who was the like admiral, the leader of the, went on <laughs> some. Night show and was like, there's crazy stuff there. There's yeah. like a whole other lands. Like it's yes. green. It's, there is. It's there's. Yeah. It's just a whole other world. Yes. You know, beyond the ice wall. Yes. Someone said that. Yeah. This guy, like he the leader like of he like the flew there. Like he flew and saw. It. And then guess what happened? Then the Antarctica Treaty comes out, and no one's allowed to go there. If I'm getting terminal cancer, I'm just spending all my money and just trying to head towards the South Pole. Down. It's out there. That's honestly for real. Well, I've heard too. Like there's like a big 
steel building. Like once you get over Bro. that, with a huge hundred foot door, Buddy. it's like another. There's so man. much military. I don't know. It's weird, man. There is so much like military funding going into Antarctica, and the hiding of things. But the next and common weird government operation is called Operation Fishbowl, 1962. It was a high altitude nuclear test. What were they trying to test? They were trying to blow up the firmament, mm-hmm. which is the the dome over the Earth. Fishbowl. Mm. They were trying mm. to punch a hole into the firmament. So that's where I'm saying it's okay. So you're saying it's flat with a firmament. Yeah. Over it. Yes. I am on the other. Yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, so it, well, but my thought is, is like Antarctica is like a wall, weird stuff. and then there's like a whole other like. So there's flat earth where it's just this big disc, right? And you could fall off the edge, but that's not really... Well, the ice wall. The ice wall that goes around the whole world. It's like the Truman Show. But yes, but I think it's more than that. I think it's, there's just like, the land is infinite, and there's just another world and another place past the ice wall. And then you go into another world, another planet, and then it's another thing, it's like, and it's another thing. It's like we're on Middle Earth in the yes. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it just you know, keeps it's going. Like it just into keeps another, going. It's like entryway into another... And there's another world, yeah. and... The government knows about it, and they might be super advanced. Yeah, bro. This is where I think, like, the whole pyramids thing, it's like the Younger Dryas impact theory. I think maybe these people who were beyond the ice wall once lived over here. They built the pyramids. They had Atlantis. They had this technology that we didn't know about. And then they left and explored past the ice wall, and it was a better world. Yeah, dude. And that's where they're at now. They have their technology. Human evolution has not been a straight line. No. It has not been a straight line. I agree. And some people were left behind, and they did this. But, you know, we follow this path— yeah. I'll, maybe I'll no. touch on that next. Honestly, of yeah. ten thousand years of this, and we got cell phones and you know radio communication. But you know back then they might have had gravitational yeah, advancements. Yeah. It wasn't cell phones. They had they went in a different path and they developed this technology. I don't know. It's weird. The, the Antarctica thing is fucking weird to me. Why can't we go see it? Why don't we have flight paths over Antarctica? I agree with that. That shit's weird. Doesn't make it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Or hiding something. You just can't even get close to it. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. How far can you even get? How far you can go to like can twenty to miles in? I think like but there's you have to get like a into special Antarctica, per- special yeah. permit to do it. But you couldn't just like, you know, it's another because well, like there's like research- unclaimed land. Why can't like anybody re- just go? There's like research- well, you can put cruises to Atlant- or Antarctica, but there's like researchers that like go to Antarctica. Yeah, but, yeah, but you need like a special permit and then really? just like a guided trip. And then you're like, you yeah, they're, like, they're I'm taking, going yeah. road. Like me and you can be like, let's just go south road and see what. There's all kinds of like things if you watch ancient. They're like taking you to certain spots. Yeah, and there's like there's like. A pilot that was there like 10 years ago and they were picking people up they were landing on the ice and they like flew because like some weather and they flew around and the government's like no turn around yeah. Yeah. don't fly over there but like, are they like they're like why they, we got to go get these are guys they flying like, out like turn are they flying out like f-22s like intercept you no, like, what's going on no, no 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 i don't know they just couldn't fly they over. they definitely there. are another little flatter theory is and this is true is like gravity is still technically just a theory yes, it's considered true. subtle science because it's just you know it's what everybody believes but Flat earthers believe in the buoyancy theory, which is just everything has buoyancy. It will float up to a certain point or it will sink to a certain point. It's not gravity. It's just what's the buoyancy of everything. Well, it's like in the – I know like in the ocean – I don't know if there's any correlation, but like in the ocean, it's like if you go to a certain depth, you don't you don't float anymore. Like you just sink. Yeah, yeah. That's like – That's the same thing. 40 feet down or something. Yeah. But just buoyancy. saying like if I put a balloon into the atmosphere, eventually it's going to stop. At some point, because that's its buoyancy ceiling. So you got high buoyancy ceilings, low buoyancy ceilings. Mm. So, so like if it was deep enough, eventually you would stop sinking. What What do you guys think? Do you think this is a true conspiracy? Is it Is it true? I think there's some weird shit that's going on. I don't know if it's what truly if? flat or what, what if. The I Antarctica just, thing I just freaks think, me out. I just think all of the bullshit where like people are obviously taking it in a fishbowl lens, like astronauts pretending to go up there and be like, you guys still think there is round? Yeah, I mean, like, bro, I know that you're using a special camera. I'm not a believer in the flat Earth, but I believe that sketchy shit's going on in Antarctica. Yeah. Hundred percent. I do that, and I do not believe we landed on the moon. Why haven't we gone back? Oh, no, that's Why the moral the of all. I got these deep into that in like ninth problems. grade. Moon? Just YouTube video after YouTube video on the moon landings. Yeah, dude, we did not go to the moon. So talk, deep. We should talk about the moon. So yeah. deep. But that'd be the next one. We Let's do moon landing. Well, fake. Bro, we can the say, moon. Well, moon doesn't exist. Well, it's not <laughs> what it is in in the flat Earth. It's not. The moon as we know it. What is it? It's like a well, it's still like a Smudge moon entity, filament? but it's still within the the dome. Oh, so same with the sun. So the sun doesn't 
you know, the, the earth doesn't rotate and the sun disappears. The sun just travels out of view. But if you had a so big it has the lens. same it has the same effect. But couldn't you do that if you had a big enough lens? Probably. To the to the sun. Yeah. Probably. My question is, when there's the eclipse, right? Uh-huh. Had the eclipse yesterday. Uh-huh. Full coverage. Why wasn't there like an immediate drop in temperature? There was a little bit. Oh, that's another one. No, there was not. Mm-hmm. I was outside during. It was it. A Why does a total no, eclipse happen? I know when the sun's going seventy mi- thousand miles yeah, an hour the, in the moon. Oh, well, and if I put a ball right here and that's the sun, like look, it's just a little baby shadow. You know, it's not like it'd have to. You'd have to be this close. So they're saying the earth, the moon, is closer to Earth than we think because now look at that shadow. Yeah. Oh, now there's no more shadow. Yeah, it covers the it covered the entire sun. See it's that? fucking weird. <laughs> I think the eclipse is fake. <laughs> that is weird. I know. I don't. I don't know about I don't that. I believe the eclipse. Hmm. I think it's fake. And the model they used for the eclipse. Has been a Babylonian model, you know, and they were flat earthers. They weren't heliocentric yet. <gasps> have you, so, and then that's how they still predicted is using that formula from Babylonian time. Have you seen that video though of like the flat earthers who were full flat earth and they're like, hey, if I shine this light through a magnifying glass and I go a hundred miles that way, it should be able to hit it exactly because the earth's flat. And then they go a hundred miles away yeah, and I'm then sure. it's actually like two feet lower and they're like, well, fuck. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And they kind of like, like yeah, disprove. Yeah, they like disprove themselves. They're saying the Earth is like not a flat surface; it's just bumpy. Because light, light should curve. With but they you. could go up a hundred feet. Right. In theory, it's like here below feet you above sea level and go. So that's why they like to level. to test it. They'll go to like a frozen lake or like yeah, you know, because the ocean flat. is like. Yeah, but there's like action. shit in the way. Because have you seen that video where they're like trying to disprove it and they're like putting all these experiments into and it? And they, and they do it, and they're like, can you see me? And he's like, no. <laughs> and you're like, and just like awkward silence. <laughs> well, it's all, it's confirmation bias to the point. But yeah, just presenting the theories. There's so like John, 10,000 more about this. So if I said gun to your head, is the earth flat? Yes or no? Wrong answer. I'm blowing your fucking brains out. What do you say? Who's determining if it's right or wrong? Just whoever knows, like whoever knows the, the ultimate truth. God has a gun to your head. He's saying true or false. Earth is flat. What do you say? I'm saying fucking true. Earth is flat. Depends on the day. Yeah. Today like, it's it true. Just like, what do you think? It's like it doesn't make true. fucking sense, bro. Like the Big Bang I'm theory. Saying false. That's that's well, such that's, a, joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a whole different a thing. I'm saying joke. false. I don't Can people think people believe it's that. Flat. The fact that that's like Neil deGrasse Tyson's go to, like the Big Bang. You know bang. what we should do? We should make our own rocket. The guys trying to do Shoot that. Shoot it out died. there. And... Someone died. Hey, yeah. Some guy trying to make his own submarine. And look where that happened. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. But bro, I'm talking. Like, none of that shit's real. Like the solar system. What, dude? Okay. All right. Good questions from John's uh, conspiracy, conspiracy of the week. Of the week. Oh, some good questions, some good thoughts. I do rate that, mate. My brain That's slightly good. hurts. Time to take the tinfoil hats off. Yeah. We're back. Uh, we got the phones out. <laughs> major screen ager. Major screen ager. Sorry. <clears throat> now we're back. All right. Water. We're back from John's conspiracy of the week. Lights are back on. Tinfoil hats are back off. Whoa. Now we're into Evan's close course bugle, which he gives us headlines, and we're trying to decide if they're true. Or false. Last week was a big week for Stu. I think he got them all right. Four for four. I thought it was three out of four. Three for four. No. Evan said three, three for four. four. No Check fucking way. What is, which one did I lose? Evan said three for four. No fucking <laughs> shot. <laughs> Go yeah. check the tape. No, we will. No, go Evan did check it. No Evan did check. Way. I don't believe he was you, three for. He, right. I was one. three for four. Maybe we should give yeah. Evan a like. No, he was. He was three no for four. Fucking way. Yeah. Four. All right, let's get into this headline and see if it's uh, true or false. First one is man arrested for attempting to breastfeed locals at Sandals Resort, Jamaica. Like try to sneak it in. For attempting to breastfeed. Locals. False. Wait. Man. Man arrested. Wait, for is he trying to feed people or yeah, is like he trying to get fed? No, like he's going. Like I'm trying to give you my titty. Okay, then false. No, it I was think the it's, other way around than true. I think it's I think it's true, dog. I think he's trying to be like I'm going true. He's, he's fucking like, whack. Take a sip. He's whack. Me and Stewie mind. are true. You two are false. Yeah. He's what true. is it, Evan? False. Yeah. I thought it was a trick. False. Damn. That was an awful one. Damn, look at that. Doctor, <laughs> you guys real? Woman drowns trying to swim after ex fiance's boat. Down Mississippi River. Down by the bayou. Trying, Can you read that yeah. one again, Liam? Yeah, Liam. <laughs> Woman drowns trying to swim after ex fiance's boat down Mississippi River. True. 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 I'm saying false. That's just a bad sentence. I can't even read it. I'm saying false. True. It's true. 100%. Hey, I wrote it. It's a bad sentence. <clears throat> false. Oh. Fuck, Evan. I, I knew it, Evan. It didn't flow off the tongue. It didn't flow. Why I'm, can't you make it sound like. 
in proper English, Dan. Exactly. That was the giveaway. Woman drowns that after sentence. Woman drowns Wait. after trying to swim. Woman drowns Jeez. after trying to swim. Woman drowns after. Let's move on to the next one. Woman, it's false. She, uh, Woman drowns the trying breaking to swim news after her week? ex-fiance. Yeah. <laughs> after her ex-fiance's boat in the Mississippi. I don't fucking. So know. be life water under fire for posting images of lizards and sexually explicit poses and new marketing stunt. Shut up. False. What? Shut up. True. Are you, is like, this, are you, are this saying, world. True. Are we saying? True. I'm saying true, bro. People, look at that. That, that lizard's asking for an ass fucking. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> Would you Absolutely though? Absolutely true. I'm, huh? Would you? <laughs> what? Evan, true or false? <laughs> what oh, the fuck, bro? Knew it. Bro, I Sobe life one. Two yeah, for three. I, I, I Sobe's still a thing. Papa's two for three. I used to drink Sobe's. Look at the Italian news, mayor guys. offers <laughs> free goats to anyone who can catch them. True. True. Bro, that'd be sick. True. That would be awesome. True. true. Written headline. This is true. Italian mayor offers free ghosts to anyone who can catch. So are we just basing this off of Evan is fucking dyslexic or not? I'm going true. Like, what? <laughs> true. 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 Evan? Uh, Damn, I thought we were going to hit us. Three for four? Balls. Two for four? It went for four? I was one for four. Three for four, big papa. Three wow. for four. Two for four, here. Damn. Two for four for me and John. That's pretty good. Yo, that would actually be correct. Free goat. Imagine all that livestock money. I uh, know. What, what, you, you milk goats, right? You Italy's milk. like giving you like free homes if you move to this town and shit. They like, I give saw you that. money. Yeah. yeah. This is my political you platform. You're, you're an Italian. Actually, aren't you? I, 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 if it's, it's in Naples, land. that's where my uh, me from Naples. Naples. Now, now it's Naples. His great 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 we'll great great eh? great eh? grandfather eh? Yeah. visited yeah. Naples eh? back in God, college. He didn't know what he's fucking. What are you saying? I just said fuck you, motherfucker. Jeez. I don't think he did. Great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Sailed the Mayflower. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? All right. Hey, we got some good questions this week. We got some emails. Where did the Mayflower come from? Spain. England. England. Spain. Well, it was the Mayflower, and what was the other one? The Puritans. Pina, the Minta, and the, the Santa Maria. The Pina? Yeah. The, 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 the Nina, the Pinta, Pinta and the, the Santa, Santa Maria. Maria. Yeah. The, the, the bottom bar drinking sangria. Yeah. You didn't want to sing along? No. You, man. All right. So we're going to read through some, some of the questions that we got on Close Course this week. Again, if you have questions or comments, you know, tell us what you think of John's conspiracies. Money. Um, send those emails in to closedcourse at pinsandaces.com. And the first question we have this week is, what's your guys' next big collection? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco. Cinco. Cinco de Mayo, right? Aye, aye. That's coming out soon, right? In the next week, probably, yeah, next once this week. is aired. Yeah. yeah, next week. Once this is aired, it should be in the next week. We got Cinco de Mayo yeah. coming out. Mm -hmm. Some polos, some head covers. Mm -hmm. Some of those head covers are actually some of my favorites of all time. They're pretty dope. And You're these ones are sick, oh, too. These ones are, these ones are, these ones are really, really cool. Yeah, um, true. they're cool. Well, esta you know, es le no. Okay, stop with the esta trans es Google la translation. Mejor Why is he doing this? Huh? He's five minutes behind. He, he esta es la mejor colección. Yeah, I can also read off Google Translate. That's from the dome. I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. looking at Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Picture again. <laughs> okay, so little Easter egg for the Cinco collection when it comes out in know? a week. We not, yeah, I did. We not, we not, You're not boring me with your Google Translate, yeah, man. <clears throat> Perfect Spanish. Use code Cinco twenty four. Whoa. And that is going to get you thirty five percent off. Any Cinco de Mayo product. 35. Limit that to 100, Liam. Mm. Cinco, what did I say? Cinco 24? Cinco 24. Code Cinco 24 is going to get you 35% off. And this off. can only be used during the Cinco collection, so they got to wait like a week, right? They got to wait, so you got to be like, oh, I'm going to save that code. Okay. Because it's not going to be good until the Cinco de Mayo collection launches, but once it launches... Use that code. We're going to limit to the first 100 listeners. And uh, to top it off, make things a little sweeter, we're going to give you also 24% equity in. <laughs> that is not true. He does not make that decision. But you can take 35% off. Yeah. All right. We got, I like these He's questions. Kind of loyalists. We got three more questions that I actually really like. These are good ones. Mm, yeah. Um, so saying? everyone else's questions, they can just go fuck themselves? Well, no. I just like these ones. Yeah. <laughs> this guy said, um, what's your guys' favorite product of all time? Like Pentacles? I know John's. Or? What? I know John. Like pins and aces or yeah, pins and aces. any product? Well, fuck, man. Pins and aces. <laughs> what, your Louis Vuitton wallet? Nice, man. $900 yeah. wallet, wallet for a fucking fake piece of yeah. shit. To keep, keep $11 in ones yeah. in your wallet. Yeah. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah. Cool. You, you, you stick with your magnetic fucking yeah, it's sick wallet, granola man. wallet, Elroy. man. Suits you. Sick. Granola. Um, <laughs> my favorite product of all time. Ugh, tough question. It's tough. Mm. Our products. I know mine, but it's like 
I don't know if it's my favorite. Probably, because the, I, probably I the just most. like I have so many of them. Our player preferred bags. Shut I just love up. our bags. Shut up. I'm just such a. They are nice bags. They are. They love great. our bags. Newcomer bag of the year. We won that. It was Forbes, Forbes said that. Uh, our player preferred bags. My favorite. They're mine. Any color. See, mine is personally. It's not going to be a fan favorite. I know, but it's just because I use it all the time and it's always in my pocket. Not like every day, but on the course is our divot tool. Mm. It's a great divot tool. The pitch fix. The pitch fix. Yeah, that's a good great. one. It's got the ball marker right there. I don't. I mean, that's like just the pop it up. Industry I standard. Fix my divot. It's a good one. But ours is great. It's got great design. It's got the sticky. Like the never fix. never slips out of your hands. Great material. Mm -hmm. Made from, made from. Good material. So fake animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something, something fake yeah, and made up. Make made from. John, you got a favorite product of all belts. time? Shifts. But what's popping up right now is the uh, limited. It was like our first real limited, and it ha it was a sugar skull. Yep, that's what I was made thinking in of. USA. The Serape skull. The Serape skull to my office. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice. Sick. It's nice. Damn. It was sick. I don't really uh, made in the USA. The only thing I would say is the. It's not going to be a fan favorite, but like the black on dark blue leopard print that we had like three years ago. Bro, shut the I love fuck that polo. Up. Really? You have I never seen you wear it ever. Polo. I love it. Never saw you wear it It's in my gym bag it's right now. I was going to wear it today. Yeah. I think that leopard print is just money. I love that one. Okay. Interesting choice. but And that kind of <coughs> actually brings us into the next question. <laughs> What's a polo you guys wish you would bring back? What? So it's currently sold out, or we discontinued it. What's a polo you would bring back? The animal prints, baby. I would That's say I, I would back. say animal prints. I think we got to bring those back. Cheetah. Soon. Can we rip some zebra? Maybe. Real zebra? Yeah. Zebras yeah. were killed in the making of this polo. Hey. I I want plenty of zebras. There's plenty, yeah, tons There's of zebras. plenty. I want like a kangaroo head cover, Maybe ostrich later. head cover. But are we going like plushy? No, I'm talking like Material. actual leather. I mean, real kangaroo, like premium, like a, just kangaroo was on it. Mangled and kangaroos murdered. are like an invasive species. I know they are. They're, they're, up, they're eat them over there. Bro, you see that one video like last week of like all of them running on the golf course? Yeah. It was um, unreal. They're hopping around, yeah. thousands uh, of them. They're the Australian deer. Yeah, it's crazy. Shoot them. Do they just shoot them over there? I think so. They, yeah. You go roo hunting? I think they collected. Everybody. I just saw a video on TikTok how to cook yeah. kangaroo. It looked good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you search that? You search, I didn't you search, search it, but yeah. right after how to cut a lime. Yeah, <laughs> how to cook kangaroo. How to incorporate lime in your kangaroo off. stew. It should be like you know, just it's intuitive. You know, not at all. I guarantee yes. you didn't know. You were just oh, cut in half and hack lime. at it. I know how to cut a lime. <laughs> Who hacks out of lime? What do you fucking I know how to mean? Cut a lime, you man. too. You cut. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to cut a lime. The difference how between you cut doing it and doing what it. What were you using the lime for? Putting in a beer. Are you fucking joking? And that's he doesn't know how to cut a lime to put in a beer. It's sad. Man. How would you cut? Pathetic, it? How would you cut it? Tell me right scene. now. You have a lime in front of your face. You have a knife. What do you do? Literally, Go. Cut it in half and then wrong. I <laughs> it's not fucking wrong. Wrong. Just because what TikTok said doesn't make it wrong. You cut it in half and you cut another little sliver, stick it in the beard. What do you mean? Wrong. Here, let's cut off both ends carefully. Mm -hmm. Then waste the ends. Waste the Stupid. ends. Stupid. Then let's slice it paper thin. Then also make a three quarter cut in the middle. Dumb. Cut four inches no. down. Curve the, it. So yeah, like, what the, the fuck? The moral is, is about, if you're gonna do something, you do it right. Do it the Right way, the best way. Who, That's what I was who trying to learn. Who determined the right way to cut a bartenders line? everywhere in the world? Really? So a bartender cuts it that way? Yeah. I guarantee I'll go. Hey, I'll go to a bar right now. And say, hey man, cut a lime for me. It's like, like cooking. It's like cooking a steak. So? Yes. No, they won't. Cut me a lime wedge, and I guarantee we'll cut the edges off first. <laughs> Not at all. Hundred percent. Idiot. All right, what's your two's polo? Most you guys want to bring back polo? Polos? Oh, that we asked that question. Yeah, if you had to bring it back, bring it back. We said, me and Nick said Animal Prince. Wow, but nice, man. You said the same thing? I said it first. Really original. Well, I said it on kind of the first question. So. <laughs> Go ahead, Mage. I think uh, the Munchies polo. <laughs> we make a munchies polo? Munchies. Yeah, I think it was we awesome. Made, we made the matching But it was covers. just like. The video for that was great. John loaded up his cart with a bunch of Munchies. We have, a, yeah. you know, it was like a really well-known high-end designer. And I just <clears> don't know if it was like good timing, but. I think we could do. I just like that, you know. It's that like four twenty coming up. I just like that vibe. Yeah, probably do a four twenty. Uh, what's yours, Stewie? I don't even. I don't know. Cause like, what's like uh, like ones that we've discontinued? I'm trying to think. Retro Aztec was a good one. That, that pineapple one. I like one. the Arizona. The Southwest of, Sunset. Yeah, Southwest Sunset. Yeah, that was set. good. I like that one. Um, mm. I don't know, honestly. Bring a polo back. Yeah. From I just the, want from fucking, the dead. I just want zebra. What was your first pins polo? My first pins polo was, I believe, freeloader, uh, flower power. Mm. Fucking yeah, it was the vintage. Bring that back. Yeah, we could bring flower power back. Yeah. That was a good yeah. one. That was a good yeah, one. Like that that was yeah. a good one. Yeah. All right. Last question of the day is, 
How have you guys' designs changed over time? Drastically. Oof. In a good way. Yeah. yeah. A designer now. Designs all our polos. They were shit to begin with. Alex <laughs> was designing them. That ham and egg, baby. That's tough. tough. Paint. That it looked good on Nick, though. That ham and egg was tough. Wait, on speaking it, of looking on good on Nick, did we see that Speedo photo? Yeah, let's bring up the Speedo bring picture. Speedo photo. It's a good pic. Make sure we zoom in we did. Yeah. We did find this when we were at yeah, the bathroom we break. Yeah, we Nick found, found the picture of him in the Speedo. Depths. Jesus Christ, Devin, you got enough photos. Oh, there yeah. It is. Oh, no. Zoom in on that bulge there. There it is. Hey, not that. Whoa. There it is. A little hairy leg. He definitely stuffed it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah right. He definitely there, stuffed, stuffed it. 100% stuffed, stuffed it. Are that. you joking? What is that? Elastic? What is? What kind? What's that? Is that uh, leather? That's spandex. I looks you leather. Just need a tan. Yeah, spandex. I need a tan. Bro, and maybe just, a he, he stuffed that <laughs> so <laughs> bad. He just weed whack a little bit. Where? Shave those legs. You can look like a real nice. But I hate. I appreciate the compliment, man. He stuffed it 100. percent You're working with extra material. I'm not. You got a diver's legs, man. Yeah, I know. You got the legs for it. That's what I'm talking about. Shave That's gonna look good diving. on a diving board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be you flopping. better fucking wear that as yeah, well. I will. Treat for my dive. I will. Yeah. Just oh, get a cannonball. Yeah. Ugh. Or pencil. I'd say our <laughs> designs have changed over time from being like they used to be like really crazy and unorthodox. I mean, we still have some crazy polos, but now I feel like some of our best sellers are more low key. The designs are more thoughtful, um, and we haven't really talked about player preferred too much yet. But that's gonna be that's gonna be like we have a couple player preferred products. We're coming out with some more. Um, yeah, we have the waffles. We got designs um, have definitely evolved in a good way. Yeah, and I think player preferred for the people who haven't really heard of it before. We're kind of coming out with a new line later in the 2024 at some point. Polos that are designed to be worn from the bunker to the boardroom. You know, some of our designs are great. Amazing polos, but you wouldn't really wear it to like a board meeting. You wouldn't wear it to a date, um, kind of a night out, stuff like that. So this new line of polos can be worn for on course, off the course. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't, you ain't wearing elephant stripes on a night out. I I would maybe wear that one on a night out actually. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I I think that would Cody. Be I might yeah, okay. I, I might do it on Saturday <laughs> night. Nikes. What are those? I might do no, it on he Saturday wears those night. sandals, Birkenstock. I know. No, the, the Nike high, the Nike high <laughs> socks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yanks them up. Yeah. So I think they're yeah. getting the designs are definitely getting better over time. We got a real designer now, multiple designers. They come up with great stuff, and they're getting more detailed. I would say, and more a little classier. Yeah, a classier. Bit more. Sure. Yeah, a little Ooh. bit better. Just in any business, you got to be the chameleon. You, you got to adapt. You yeah. got to evolve. Take your feedback and to survive. You know, we still have our crazy yeah. stuff. A lot of our limiteds are really crazy and kind of like yeah, the spring and the fall is sure. a little bit more low key. For sure. More stuff that can be worn year round. I think for that's sure. kind of the route we've taken. Yeah. There's sure. some other companies that are doing just going the opposite direction. Yeah. yeah. That I won't name. Skater, loser stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just like weird blank brand. canvas. Yeah. Like just, Ugh. Blah. Ugh. just a green polo. I mean, grow up. Yeah. Honestly. Not good. Up. Not grow up. Well, uh, I think that wraps it for episode 13. So appreciate it. And we'll uh, see you guys next week. <laughs> Why does he always do that? <laughs>